Welcome to the B. Lenore Show. Here we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way. My way. Day, happy, happy. What's today? Hump day. Happy hump day. How's everybody? Oh, oh, got some folks in the chat. Thank you for waiting patiently. I don't know what was going on with StreamYard. I got some notes. Um, well, here's the thing. I was I was setting up the live to come live earlier. I wanted to come live like around three, and I went to setting it up. And I got an email simultaneously. I don't know if it was sent earlier. I don't know. Anyway, but it says something about StreamYard is having problems connecting to YouTube. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't an email. It was when I went into StreamYard before I even tried to set it up. I was like, that's weird. So I went in and I tried anyway, but it just said, okay, try back in a, in a couple of minutes. I did it again. So I didn't realize every time I was doing that, I guess it was actually setting up the live on the YouTube side, but it would not let me access it from the StreamYard side. Anyway, long story short, if I hadn't come out here and, and left a message on the community wall and saw some of the messages from some of you saying, hey, uh, you've got six lives scheduled at the same time. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? So I went and looked. And then by that time, it connected. So I was like, okay, well, let me pull my life together real quick, close up some things, uh, grab some lemonade, and come out here and talk to you guys. So uh, forgive the appearance. I look kind of, mm, I tried again, but maybe I should put some lipstick on. I'll do that in a minute once I figure out what color, okay? Um, anywho, I wanted to get caught up on some of these calls and things. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lorinda. Is it Laura? Laura Rinda. Laura Rinda. Hi. Hi, Bella. Hey, Zen Soul. Hey, SB Side. Um, Dimples Wimples. Hi. Hi, Michael. Tiffany. Miss HLS. Miss Buckeye 99. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, Kia. Uh, Chick fil A gal. Dimples Wimples. Dimples Wimples. You are such a mess. I know, says she moved a lot to, I know, oh yeah, this is from earlier. Okay, so some of these people may not even be here no more, okay? Hi, Alabama 256. Um, hey, Texas Toy. Let's see, who else, who else? Did I say hi, Annette? Hey, Afia Vlogs Live. April B, CC, The Real Brown Family Chronicles. Hey there, girl, hey. Hey, succeeding too. How are you? All right, Blue Bear, Snoopalicious, uh, Azure, Mary, Retro in my fro. Yes, everybody is here. Hey, Rosy, Nola Brown, Joyce, Morky, Morky's mom, Morky mom. <laughs> okay, hi, James McRae. Hey, everybody. Okay, oh, none of your business. Thank you. Thank you for the super sticker. I accept and I am gra I'm grateful. Thank you. Ciao. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, hey, Mary. Bree. Okay, y'all. So look, I figured let's get caught up on some of these calls. Because you know I'm behind. Okay. So I was thinking um, there are two, I mean, there are two recent uploads that phone calls from prison Put up that I wouldn't mind going through. One is with uh, Ernesto and Shirley, and then, or I think it's yeah, I don't know if it's one or two with Ernesto and Shirley. And then there's one uh, upload that has Nesto, 
uh, Sonia, Lamont, Dion, all of them. So if y'all don't mind, if y'all ain't got nothing better to do, kick it with me. We can even open up the lines and have some discussion if you like. Um, but yeah, let's just sit back and kick it. Hi, I am Mrs. Riggs. Hey, nurse, wife, mom. Hello, everybody. Okay. So I suggest go get you a snack, go get you a beverage, and come on back over here. Okay. So let me see. Let's start off with the Shirley call. Hold on right there. Okay. Yeah, let's start off with Shirley. Good old Shirley. Uh -oh, let me stop it. Um, let me share my screen. Yeah. So let's watch good old Shirley and Nesto have a little chit chat here. Um, and then let's pay attention to the date because I think all of these are in January of 2023. So just last year, last year in a couple months. Okay. So yeah, let's, uh, let me, um, change it up here just a bit. Sorry, y'all. Oh, uh, there we go. All right. Let's, let's get it. Hello. Hi, hon. How you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Sound like you're driving. Driving what? <laughs> Oh, oh, it just sounds like you sound a little clear today. You know, sound like okay. you're in the house. Yeah. How okay. You doing? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Good. You sound like you got a lot of energy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. like you call me you're always searching for something. <laughs> no, I just sound like, yeah, you sound much better today. You sound much better today. Dave must be down there. Uh-huh. Okay. Huh? It's Debbie here. <laughs> I knew it. 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 <laughs> Wait, what's the joke? Is there a joke that I'm unaware of? He's like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Hold on. Hi, Janice. What'd you say here? Oh, the sentencing. Not too happy today. Sentences for the goon squad in Mississippi. Um, those cops got off with light sentences for what they did to those two men should be under the jail. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I understand. All right. So what? What are they like? What's the big deal? What? What? Why is it funny that Deb is there? Isn't she, isn't she staying with Deb at this point? So wouldn't it make sense that they'd be running around together, maybe? Like, I'm confused. Huh? Isn't she staying with them? Hi, call Michelle. Or call me, is it call Michelle? Yeah, hi, call Michelle. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um. So wait, what, y'all? No, Deb, what you said? Deb is her BFF. Right, so why is it such a funny thing? But isn't Deb the person she's staying with temporarily at this point or had been, correct? Show, hey, T-Rain. Y'all, am I tripping? No, okay, no, not staying yet, just visiting. It's because he talks badly about it. Okay, but does she know that? I'm confused. Does she know that? Because the, I, I'm confused, y'all. Does she know that he talks badly? That's what they're laughing at? Look, I got to go back because that doesn't, I don't, I don't understand. Hold on. Debbie, okay. Huh? It's Debbie here. <laughs> I knew it. 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 Oh. <laughs> How you doing there, bestie? I know oh. it. Okay, she's staying with somebody named Tasha. Okay. Thank you. Ready for the tea? I appreciate it. I'm glad you're feeling better. I love your energy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um. Okay. Yeah, at this point, they don't know that uh, he's been talking badly because the phone calls hadn't come out yet, right? So, um, so thank you again. Uh, ready for the tea. Thank you. Um, yeah, local news. You behind, Emma? 
I'm behind in the chat. Or I'm behind it. I'm behind on a lot of shit. Okay. But I'm I'm confused because I thought for sure he called her balloon pop and other than but this I'm confused why she why they are laughing together now though. I don't think they know that yet. Okay. Uh oh wait. The call before the call before she came to visit. I think Shirley was sounding down and now she sound better. So he's saying he knew it because she sounds better. Got it. Thank you. I'm like, what is the secret? What is the joke? What is going on? Oh, you think Debbie is visiting from Chicago? Oh, she lives in Chicago. Debbie does. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he is super fake, isn't he? Because is it right around this time is when he's telling Sonya he loved her and this, that, and he's telling, uh, uh anyway. All right, we're going to get into it. Let's watch. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, that, that, yeah. How long have you I'm been like, down here? Um, since Sunday. Okay. 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 So are you scared today? Yeah, New Year's Day. She got rolled in. She, she treated me the same way. Okay. 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 Like, I knew the <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, then. At the end of I came back, I appreciate that, Miss Deb. I so mm. appreciate you. <laughs> hey, show. I don't know. Oh, well, hopefully, uh, I'll see you this week. Hopefully. Please okay. hit the like button, y'all. Thank I, you. I, I must be driving. I can hear y'all moving somewhere. Y'all ride somewhere. We're just trying to find a place to live. That's all. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm okay. driving around Buckhead and then we're supposed to meet Lamont for lunch at about one 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 thirty. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Did you ever call? Did you ever no, call no, him? I did, talk to did, you? I did try to call him, he didn't answer the phone though. So Oh he I did. didn't? I did, I did. I did. He didn't answer. I don't know if he was asleep or what. But I did Yeah, he may have been to see his mom. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So y'all y'all found a code please. I talked to Andre. I talked to Andre. Oh, okay. He good? Yeah, he was good. Okay. So okay, so you broke it down to him. Did you talk to uh uh um uh the council? <laughs> no, not since I talked to you last. No. Oh okay. council. Okay, okay. Okay. Well it's supposed to be this week right here, so I don't know if you're going to give him a payment or a non-payment. I don't know which is that. Well, pay. I just sent him $4,000. I just sent him four, two payments of $2,000 because he said, wait, I wait, thought. Wait. Okay, I got it. I got it. When, when did you do that? Um, Right before I talked to you. Oh, today? No, the other day. When I talked to you on New Year's Day, I think it was, on Sunday. Yeah. On Sunday, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had just sent him four thousand oh. dollars. So I've sent seventeen altogether. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, so I know that. I'm just trying to no, they're not. They're not brothers. Sonia told me that um, right before our interview. She said because I said something about his brother. She said it's not really his brother. She's like, I just found out they're not really brothers. They're just friends. So yeah. They just lie about everything, child. And I agree, Dimples Wimples. He does have a problem hearing her happy or her energy energy shifting in a positive way, or hearing that she's moving on with her life on any level. He, yeah, he got a problem with that. Most men do. Why are you fooling? <laughs> Go ahead. His, his fee is what? I understand. Uh, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. But I'm supposed to be home. Yes. Week. Child. That's what this is. Okay, yeah. He, he told me that too. He did? Okay. I just want to make sure. Woo! January 3rd, 2023. Talk about keeping hope alive. Talk about just hanging in there, keeping, keep believing, just believing that next week will come, and yet it doesn't ever ever come it never comes it won't come it ain't coming i don't think it's coming okay but yeah <laughs> it's 
2023, January 3rd. He said he's going to be home next week. Mm-hmm. We still waiting. Good, Andy. We'll make sure. So, Debbie's going to move in with us. We got a whole husband. Oh my God. She said, are you going to stand with Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said that quick. She said that quick, boy. Okay. All right. But I'm glad to hear your voice sound so much better. Oh, God. I love it. That's the way you're supposed to be sounding. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, good. Yeah. Okay, then. All right, then. No, I'm happy. Now I'm happy. I'm happy. So is that good? I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> good. Well, I'm glad you're happy. You know, <laughs> any kind of way. Feeling yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. You say feeling any kind of way? Oh my yeah, God. you don't need to be feeling any kind of way in there. You just, you know, need to concentrate on what's going on with you and praying and talking to God, and that's what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. He said really he talked to me. Was 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 something we else. Was, we was, we was, uh, Not God. We were doing it, but that was good. You, are you saying that in front of Debbie? Oh, oh, God. 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 <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. This is January 3rd. They feeling any kind of way? Yeah, you don't need to be feeling any kind of way in there. You just, you know, need to concentrate on what's going on with you and praying and talking to God. And that's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. You know, I already get, mm-hmm. I had a dream actually that night was good though. We was, we was, uh, we was humping, we were doing it, but that was good. You, are you saying that in front of Debbie? Oh, oh God. 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 <laughs> How old is he? He said they were humping. They was doing it. Huh? They was humping. They was doing it. That sounds like some a 12 year old would say first and foremost. But why is he saying it? And and he couldn't find a better way to say I, I dreamt of you, my love. You know, I miss you. You know what I'm saying? Let her read between the lines. But he had to say that in front of Deb for what reason? That was for show. There was purpose behind that. But it's nasty. Humping, honey. They did it. They was doing it and they was humping. And that was good. That was a good dream. Yeah, I dreamt of you last night. We was humping. Yeah, it was. We was doing it. What the hell? Let me hear that one more time with his ridiculousness. Mm-mm. Away in there, you just you know need to concentrate on what's going on with you and praying and talking to God, and that's what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. You know, I already get. Mm-hmm. I had a dream about you last night. was good though. We was we was uh we was humping. We were doing it, but that was good. Are you saying that in front of Debbie? Oh, oh, God. 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 Sister to sister. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, sister to sister. Thank you for the super chat. Sister to sister said, "Doing it with the liquid V child." Oof. Why is he saying doing it? I'm doing it and doing it and doing it good. That's not what he meant. He He's talking like a 12-year-old because he doesn't even have the vocabulary of a 10-year-old. Okay? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you, sister. Thank you sister. Uh, I carry tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be out of here by tomorrow. Hopefully. That's what you're talking right. about. You got like $9 left on your phone. Okay, so I'm gonna no. call you. Wait, wait, did you go back to work tomorrow? What time you go back? Yeah, I go back um on uh, ten. Oh, we go at ten at night. Mm-hmm. Oh, do they? Oh, okay. Well, I'll yeah. So do they? I thought. Okay, they're on a morning show. She's in Atlanta. Wonder why they they must like just tape in advance or something. And maybe it airs later. 
maybe that's what's happening. Because why would she work at 10 at night? I thought she was on the morning show, which usually airs like 6 a.m. Eastern. Interesting. I called it this time. Uh, Debbie be still here this week? She said she don't know. Yeah, she'll be here tomorrow. Okay, Mom. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, she'll be here this week then. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I could do that. That would be awesome. So they record it at 10 p.m. every night or, or probably four days a week or something like that, or maybe more. But that would be cool. I would totally, I would love that because they, that means if they're doing it at 10, maybe they start actually recording at 11. They do it for four hours. They're done around three, four in the morning. And then you can go home, get anything done during the day you want, get a nap, sleep some. Take You can sleep and get a nap, actually, if you played your cards right. And, um, yeah, I could totally do Can I? Are they hiring? Are they hiring, child? Yeah, I like that job. <laughs> um, she said if you're coming, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you just take them, take the counselor and say, Remember, you told me uh, he'll be here this week. That's all you got to say. You ain't got to say nothing to him. Mm. Too much. Just, you ain't got to talk all that. Thanks. All right. The, I hope he doesn't say, well, you told me you were going to give me some more money, too. <laughs> no, 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 because I ain't going to play with that. I ain't going to play with that because I'm already upset. You know, I'm, I'm going to let it go. This week is the week. I'm going to see how it go. They, they don't let me get yeah. Dion on because he already uh, talked crazy anyway. Huh? I said he don't really want to talk to Dion, so. Oh, oh, he said he did. I told Dion, you know, so I don't know if they talked. So you just said for me to text, is he coming home this week? Yeah, like like you said, like you said, mm -hmm. I'm a favorite counsel. How about mm -hmm. that? And I don't have my money. I still got to get my money from DC. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, sister to sister again. Shirley just low key told Nesto to mind your business. <laughs> to mind your damn business. Take care of your business over there. Okay. I got this business over here. Yeah. Hilarious. But wait, let's go back to a hair. Like, like you see it. Thank you, sister. I'm my favorite counsel. How about mm -hmm. that? And I don't have my money. I still got to get my money from DC. Oh, I, oh, it's coming. Okay. We now you worrying about that? Did you get the email? That, uh, uh, oh yeah. Did you get an email from um? My tell you find one from uh the first lawyer when he sent you that nasty email. I mean, I have it. What do you want me to do with I that? I want you to send that to the counsel that we have now and, and tell him I, you've been traumatized through this, all the drama with these different lawyers saying they're going to do this and that and they ain't did shit. So oh, I'm open, yeah. I'm open uh -huh. up praying. Uh, you ain't got to say shit, but you know how you talk. I think I've already told him that in now, the beginning. Send to, now, send it to him. Talk is cheap. Your facts is everything. All right. That makes sense? If you, uh, yeah, if you, yeah, 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 if, yeah. If you think so, I'll send it. Yeah, because see, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah, you're fancy together, and sometimes people you tell people things, but they think they can do you the same way the first two people do you, or the first person do you, try to do you the same way and get away with. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I got my fancy together on the show you. This is why I hate the way I'm acting right now. We can talk on the phone all day long. You can be loud. They don't change. Nothing about the situation until something is happening. All right. Am I wrong? No, I mean, you feel the way you feel. No, you're not wrong. It's okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. okay. It's not a um, right and wrong. It's just what it is what it is. Yeah, that's you know. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. cool. Okay. I get it. So I'll find that. I'll find that email. I'll send it to him, and then I'll um, and then that's it. Yeah, that's it. And, and I'm supposed to be talking. To, I'm supposed to be talking to uh, someone else. He told me this week. So about the other thing, he, I think he already explained to you about myself. So we're gonna see that. Huh? We're gonna see all this come to work. Okay. Okay. Okay, love. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, all right. And, 
Anything on your end? Anything on your end? You're like this. Wait, what the hell? I, I'm so confused right now. Wait a minute. Am I wrong? No, I mean you feel the way you feel. No, you're not wrong. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Right. It's not a um, right and wrong. It's just what it is. What it is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. I got it. So I'll find that. I'll find that email. I'll send it to him, and then I'll um, and then that's it. Yeah, that's it. And and I'm supposed to be talking. I'm supposed to be talking to uh, someone else. He told me this week. So about the other thing, I think he already explained to you about myself. So we're going to see that. Wait, the other thing, I'm sure he told you, I'm going to see about myself. Wait, what? What was that? She is grubbing. Nurse wife mom, she is grubbing. She is tearing the food up. I'm hungry, thinking about it and listening to her. I can't imagine what that makes him feel like. Every time he call her, she grow. <laughs> and I don't give a damn if she has some peanut butter crackers. They better than what he dealing with. Okay. Who shall? But okay, wait a minute. What is this other thing? What is he talking about? And she's like, yeah, okay. What, what are y'all talking about? Y'all is coming to work. Okay. Okay, love. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, all right. Anything on your end? Anything on your end you'd like to discuss? Um, no, not really. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, all right, I'm gonna call you um, tomorrow. All right, love. See you later, honey. Any, anything else you'd like to say? Is he fishy? Uh, no, I love you. Um that that's it. I can't think of anything else really. He's, all right. So I mean I'm where y'all gonna eat at? We we y'all gonna eat at? I think me and Marcus. Y'all going to eat in New York Marcus? How are you going to eat in New York Marcus? At the cafe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 I got you. Rich got you. bitch shit, uh, huh? Yeah. Okay, all right then. Uh, Classy you know, bitch late, shit. So make sure you don't, don't farm with you now. Something you can't do. Yeah, he runs late and doesn't do what he says he's going to do. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Well, he, he, well he, he told him I'm supposed to be coming home in the week, so he, he'd probably be uh, tight. No, up. I didn't tell I didn't tell him any. I haven't told him. I just want it to happen. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. All right. All right, love. Wait, who, right. what? Did she tell who what? Let me go back. Okay, all right then. Uh, you know, he runs late, so make sure he don't, don't point with you now. Yeah. Yeah, he runs late and doesn't do what he says he's going to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you, well he, you told him I'll supposed to be coming home the week so he he probably be uh, tiny no i didn't tell i didn't tell him any i haven't told him i just want it to happen okay mm. i understand okay all right all right love all right i'll see you later love, 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 love you honey okay later Bye. see you later uh miss david take care of yourself <laughs> <laughs> no, he okay. was waiting for that i was too over there good all right love Bye. Bye. see Bye. you later Bye. Bye. She thank you Hold this on. next call was she grubbing and she hasn't even arrived at a food location. She grubbing on the way to get some food, honey. Okay, I'm not mad. <laughs> and he in there eating that bullshit. Okay, let's listen. What's the next call? It's made the following day. Shirley tells Ernesto about going out to lunch. Right. With lunch. Take a listen. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You having a party over there? No, we're not having a party for a. Oh, it's pretty now, outside. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, how it are you is. doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Y'all jumping over there? Y'all out in the street? What? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we're just driving. <laughs> I just got my nails done. I mean, I just got my hair done. Debbie got her nails done. Okay, that's good. That's we're driving. We're driving to go get something to eat now. Okay, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. How you doing that, Miss Davis? She can't hear me, can you? Yeah, she can hear me. Don't speak. Hey, Nesto. Hey, how you doing? You good? For a yeah. Hey! Okay, okay. Just watching traffic. She's just watching traffic, on. I'll take care of the You know, all the construction on the 285, yes. 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, um, What's going on, honey? My calendar came to see me today. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, so, go here. Yeah. It's sound, it sounding good. You know, I use a word of great information. That's where you're supposed to go. I think that's where you're supposed to go, though. What'd you say? I said, uh, what counsel came to see me today? Did you hear me? Yeah, I know. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, uh, yeah, world of information. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm glad I had to told you to go ahead and send that. Man, I did. Yeah. So okay. Better, much better info and better uh, understanding. Yeah. Oh, he got a much better understanding. So this is a new attorney. Is that what this is about? She helped him switch attorneys, and he has a better. This new attorney supposedly has a better understanding of him. Is that what I'm getting? Shirley ain't never paying attention. Child, Shirley be doing every. She be trying to live her best life. Yeah, absolutely. But he opened some shit. Oh, okay. He opened, he opened some stuff up I did not know. Oh yeah, like yeah. what? I, I don't. If I, if I, well, yeah, huh? I made the right. I made the right decision. <laughs> That's all I'm okay. saying. Yeah. Wow. There's uh, some. There's just so much we're going to sit down and, and, and talk about. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. To oh, me. yeah. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think she mean what you mean, Nesta. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. She said, you got that right. You said we got a lot to talk about that we need to sit down and talk about. And she said, you got that right. Oh, and she means it. You got that right. She already has made up her mind that she has got to address you and figure out what the hell you, you are doing and what you're involved in and how this is destroying y'all's life. See, this was when Shirley had a little bit of hope too. See, this was, this was still early on, you know, in the game, if you will. So January, she's wearing thin, but she's thinking about some shit and she's saying, we're going to talk. Oh yes, we are going to talk. But sir, you think you're going to fill her head up with some some lies and try to manipulate her into thinking you're a victim and everybody's framing you and that there are people around her that are contributing to it. I already know what you're trying to pull. <laughs> God had other plans. Yeah, it's amazing. Why, why you say mm -hmm. that? Because we do have a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah, we got a whole lot to talk about. A lot of, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, talk about, a lot of questions, a lot of answers, a lot of good stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot of good things. And let me say this. I know he's been in there two years, and this is six months in, but that would have worn me. I would have been worn thin around the third month. I ain't trying to be funny. I'd be worn thin. Because by the third month, I already know what's going on here. You've done something or or you're so innocent, and, and I'm really going to fight for you. But I don't hear Shirley doing all this fight, fight, fight. I think Shirley knows what's going on, that this nigga's been up to some foolishness. That's what I believe. And right here, she's ready to throw this mess away. She ain't got time for it. Okay. Good so man, how's man. it looking? Uh, I mean, you know, I got two more days. And think about this. She, she, even at this point, she's six months in. She sounds, you know, wearing thin. She hung in here another six months. Better than me. He said he's going to call, call uh, that, that person. I don't know if he told you or not, but you got to call that person back and talk to them. Okay. And, okay. Uh, that's what he told me today. So I got two days. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's what he okay. said. So that's what it looks well, like. Well, that's a beautiful thing. Uh huh. Yeah, what do you say now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, well, well, we'll see. I mean, you know, God has the final word. So I, I'm going on whatever God says, you know? Okay, that's good then. <laughs> yeah, that's real good. Because God already gave you permission to leave him. See, even if you were married, he's already broken the covenant. And he committed adultery. And now you're free to go. You can wipe your hands clean and go. Poof. Mm -hmm, be gone. Idiot. Now, God also says you can forgive and keep it. Now, that you can do too. But the truth is, if you want to be free, there's your pass. Yeah, they talked to you yesterday, so last night or whatever. 
Well, we texted. Yeah, we didn't really talk. I, I sent him the information that he needed, you yeah. know, along um, with other things. And oh um, I know that's right, Miss Yeah. So I'm like, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, because you, I'm glad we straightened that out with Dion on the phone because you, I think you, you misunderstood me or something or, you know, it's just I, I a did. miscommunication. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I did. I did. Yeah, yeah. because, yeah. I, I did. Anyway, I, so I hope, um, <laughs> I hope Tro- Chopra gets himself together. Yeah, 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 because they're going to send them a letter again today. So we're uh, going to get on that and hopefully I'll be home to be able to handle my own business. But uh yeah. it's amazing how, how yeah. people do things. It's just amazing to me. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, it's, oh man, yeah. Yeah, I need to go ahead and start uh finishing up. Uh, I can't hear you. What I you need to really just finish this documentary up. I really do. Because this shit is so real like here. What shit is real? Yeah. Yeah. What documentary? Yeah, it sure is. But y'all, y'all out there, that's good. It's probably pretty out there now. All that rain last night. Yeah, it rained like crazy last night. Oh. Yeah, it really rained. Huh? I said, so what y'all got going on the rest of the week? That is not what you just the said. Hold week. on. Oh, Hold on. Know. That is not what you just said. What the hell? What? what? That's weird. Hold on. Huh? I can't hear you. What I you need to finish this documentary up. I really do. Cause this shit is so real out here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. But y'all enjoy y'all day. That's good. It's probably pretty out there now. All that rain last night. Yeah, it rained like crazy last night. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it really rained. Huh? I said, so what y'all got going on the rest of the week? That is not what you said. The rest that. of the week? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Is she going to be there when I get there or is she going to be gone for the weekend? Well, I don't know, honey. I, I don't know if she's going to be here when you get here. I'm not sure. She's not quite sure. We're just kind of, you know, not planning too much, just trying to play by ear. And, you know, she's here <laughs> for herself, for support. Why is this funny, Nesto? See, he 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 is trying to find out if Deb is going to still be around when he comes out. Because in his mind, he's coming out at, later this week. And I guess when she he asked her, what do you have planned for the rest of the week? That was his way of trying to find out, is Deb going to be there? And are you planning for me? Uh-huh. Boy, bye. Ridiculous. For me, of course. Okay. Well, tell her, tell her, uh, me and the hug, me and the hug, we'll stay in the treehouse till y'all get it together. <laughs> he and your husband will st- stay in the treehouse till we get it together. <laughs> Yeah. She said, yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that house and, and that stuff on, on fire plate, well, that just be chicken me, boy. No, yeah. oh, he's still laughing about the house, the uh, thing you told him about the stuff on the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> she said, oh, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got in really late last night. Um, we hung out so much with um, Bernard, I'm Bernard, Lamont. What? We hung out. I mean, really hung out. We didn't get home till like one in the morning. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Are you serious? Yeah, we had a lot of fun, though. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We went from lunch and then we went to the. Um, Wait a minute. So when they were talking yesterday and they were headed out to have lunch with Lamont, the play brother, from lunchtime until 1 a.m. they hung out with Lamont. I think Lamont be trying to move in. You know what I'm saying? I think he'd be trying to, he don't be trying to look out for his boy per se. I think he'd be trying to look at how can he move in on his boy's territory. Because I mean, why would Lamont hang out with all day and night? All day and night? All day and night, y'all. That makes sense. All day and night? And now he's hearing it. You know he is jelly. 
He sound real jelly. That laugh was not legit. It was not some sincere, genuine laugh. No. We're going to hear this one more time. We hung out so much with um, Bernard, I'm Bernard, Lamont. What? We hung out. I mean, really hung out. We didn't get home till like 1 in the morning. <laughs> man, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Are you serious? Yeah, we had a lot of fun, though. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We went from lunch, and then we went to the, um, you know, in, in Neiman Marcus, they have this new bar in the middle of the store in the men's section. So we went down there. And then we went to this um, other restaurant bar. We've got a private room. We just had a lot of fun. It was fun. <laughs> what? Man. Yeah, it was a lot. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> That's good. That's, that is real good. Well, y'all were partying like that? Yeah. We were just having fun because, yeah, we were just having fun. It was my yeah, last day of vacation. Oh. Uh, uh-huh. did, did he get the mail strippers out for you and all that? <laughs> No, I don't do male strippers, honey. Oh, okay. You know saying, that. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just saying, girl, like he's, he's that. I don't just try to figure y'all wild all No, we guys. don't. We, no. <laughs> no, that's that's crazy to me. Okay, okay. I don't do that. I don't like male strippers. They stink. What? <laughs> yeah, they stink and they sweat. And they sweat. I don't like that. And you know that about me. No, we don't. We no. <laughs> no, that's that's crazy to me. Okay, okay, <laughs> I don't do that. Okay. I don't like male strippers. They stink. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, they stink and they and they sweat. I don't like that. And you know that about me. That's oh, my the crazy goodness. part. Oh, my I think you should okay. exit. Okay. So what? You probably didn't want to go oh, home. Oh, it's only 2 o'clock, Yeah, I did. It was 1 o'clock. I don't stay out that long. Yeah, but it's saying we're going to get on 285 West. That's what, let me, let uh, me stop this point. for just a moment, you know, sidebar conversation. Can you all hear me? If you can hear me, put a one in the chat, please, just so that I'm sure that you can hear me with the Mikey Mike, okay? With the Yeti. All right. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to assume you can hear me. Okay, I see one. All right, thank you, Black but Not Bitter. Let me make something clear. You know, look, over the years, you know, I may have been to, you know, pass through a couple of male reviews, okay? Now, one thing I will say, they dance really hard out there, you know, and a lot of them are very, very beautiful, okay? That Which is why they, you know, they're beautiful and they can dance, whatever, then yeah, they're going to make a lot of money. Here's the thing. As hard as they dance and work on stage, one thing is for sure. While they may sweat, I ain't never smelled one that stank, okay? And here's the thing. I don't have to be up on them to smell them. If they come by, walk by, they usually have on some really nice cologne. And you know how when cologne is mixed with funk, then it, you it, it has a, a terrible you know, aroma. This is not that. Usually these men smell good. They don't stink at all. I'm just saying. Uh-uh. Who says smell like cheeseburgers? Who? Where, where are y'all going to see these men's? Uh-uh. Not nurse. Nurse. Uh, nurse wife mom. Not smell like cheeseburgers, girl. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Now, look, I'm no expert. Hey, Wigs and Wine, I'm no expert. I'm just telling you in my limited experience, okay, I've never smelled a stanky one. Yep, usually it smells. <laughs> she feel like y'all said baby oil and ass and cologne. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I have not smelled the ass. I have not. I have not smelled ass. Then again, I typically don't let them get all up on me. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time. This is a long time ago. Long time ago. Okay? Long, long time ago. What I'm here to tell you is I just hadn't smelled a stinky one. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Okay? It's neither here nor there. I just thought I'd make that clarification. I'm in disagreement with with Miss Shirley Strawberry. I think she's had bad experiences. I am sorry and sad for her. But I am telling you that I personally, 
Not me. Not I. Not this one. I've not smelled a stinky one. I haven't. I'm just saying. Hold on, honey. Hold on one second, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, but we have fun though. It was just fun. I haven't done that in, I don't know, forever. But we just have fun. And Tasha and Ronald were like, uh, Tasha says she's changing the locks. <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay. I've got Hold to on. Go. Wait a minute. What was that? Wait a minute. Where, what, what, where'd it go? Uh, okay. Retro in my fro said went to a bachelor party once and the stripper still had money stuck in his underwear from a previous party. That is nasty. Place to live, not because of that, but just because it's time to go. Okay, 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 then. Wow, well, at least you had a good time, I just, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah have fun. I, I still have fun. I know. I do, know how to, I do know how to have fun. <laughs> okay, I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. Okay. <laughs> Ready for the tea? What you say? Shirley doesn't want to be near. Uh, what you say? Near anyone? Yes, yeah, she doesn't want to be near anyone. That's true. She doesn't, and she doesn't really want to be seen with anyone but she still is trying to live her little life and get a little fun stuff in I, i'm happy that shirley has found some peace honestly mm -mm. Hey, got that mark, got that show in his hand. that's good <laughs> yeah that's what he good at though he, he yeah entertaining. yeah 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 okay yeah but sonya probably don't like male strippers Sonya probably prefer a, a, a female stripper. I don't know why. Not not to say because I'm not suggesting in any way that she's um, that she's a lesbian. She may or may not be. I, that's not even my my thought process. It, it's weird as that sounds. I think that she's the kind of girl that she ain't. She's not necessarily in the girls, but she probably feels more comfortable with the guys and female strippers. I know that sounds weird, but for whatever reason, that's that's just what I think. What'd you say? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, Texas Toy said, V, do you know Richard Lawson? Can you hook Shirley up? I don't know Richard Lawson. <laughs> Richard Lawson, I believe, is still legally married, okay? um yeah uh i think they're they're having a divorce but hmm. i wonder never mind we're all we're all over the place come back people come back let's listen to ernest and shirley mm -hmm. yeah you're good in pain yeah we have fun how many good. drinks how many drinks did they have how many drinks did debbie have i don't know oh yeah I the girl at the bar gave us this um, stuff that tastes like stuff you put on your face. Hold on. Uh, high vibe. Exactly. She's male identified. So I feel like not that she's attracted to women, but I think that if she was going to go to a strip strip club. She would feel more comfortable being in the club surrounding dudes who are admiring women, but they end up leaving with her. You see what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I don't. There's nothing that makes me think she's attracted to women. I'm just saying, she is a dude in that kind of way. You know what I mean? Anyway, or at least appears to be. I don't know. It was called rose water. It was, yeah. it was the worst tasting stuff I ever tasted. But Debbie <laughs> liked it. But then the girl mixed it with some alcohol, and Debbie drank it. Wait a minute! That. Isn't rose water used for um, spells? Isn't it? Am I tripping? It don't, it, here, I'm going to look it up. Hold on. Now, I could be tripping. I could be. Um, I know Florida water is used for stuff like that. Um, is rose water? Hmm. 
let's see. Rose water spells. Am I tripping? Research to witchcraft for baby witches, rose water. Oh my, rose water. What does rose water do spiritually? Rose water is believed to have strong spiritual properties that can clear out negative energy that may be weighing you down. After cleansing your home with, with this aura mist, uh, spray rose water throughout the room for an extra layer of refreshing energy. Huh. The power of rose water. There's antioxidants in the rose water, protects the cells in the skin from skin damage. Okay. But let me see if you drink rose water. Do you drink it? Drink rose water. I mean, I, it could be a good thing, right? Because what I'm seeing now is saying that it's supposed to cleanse things for you. The magic of rose water. Hold on. A potent, surprisingly versatile flavor blossoms in the in the pastry kitchen. What was what, that got to do with it? Rose water has been working its magic for a long time. Roman texts allude that its medicinal purposes and Cleopatra was said to be a fan of its beautifying properties. A potent elixir best used in moderation. It may be truest fulfillment of the well. It's not telling me what it does though. Rose water. Come on now. Oh, when using rose water, proceed with caution. Some brands are so concentrated that even one or two drops will do. And a great way to test its um, power is to dilute it half a teaspoon into two cups of cold water. You guys, do you think that, I don't know why they hit me because we've been talking a lot about Nesto and about what he's into and if he's into dark magic. Now, again, what we just read, it says, yes, it has power and potency, but it also seems like it's clearing out. It's supposed to clear out negative energy. So maybe that's a good thing. But it, I've never gone to a bar where they were serving rose water. And then she said they added alcohol to it. And he knows about these, if he's really into the dark magic or what have you, then he knows about Rose. He got quiet. I just, I'm sorry, y'all, I might be reaching, but I just feel like he got quiet there for a minute. Now, I don't know what that was about, but I heard Rose Water immediately thought of spells. And he may have heard Rose Water and thought, if it is in fact clearing out bad energy, maybe it's clearing him out of his spot. I don't know. I'm just saying. Is that why did he get quiet? Let's listen. How many drinks did Debbie have? I don't know. Oh, yeah. The girl at the bar gave us this um, stuff that tastes like stuff you put on your face. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. called rose water. It was, yeah. it was the worst tasting stuff I ever tasted, but Debbie <laughs> liked it. But then the girl mixed it with some alcohol, and Debbie drank that. And oh, she mixed it with her wine or something. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, she mixed it with. Yeah. Yeah, she mixed it with some alcohol, and then that didn't go well after that. <laughs> what was her purpose? But the day oh, okay. before we went to this restaurant, and I got so sick. Oh, my God. Not, not from drinking, just from eating whatever I ate. The salmon that I ate had this uh, cream sauce, and the cream was made with coconut cream. And every time I eat coconut cream, I get sick. Every yeah. time. Like throwing up and throwing up. For real? Mm -hmm. Why would this person continue? Why was this lady so adamant about them drinking this rose water? So much so that they put it in their, they put it in the wine. They put it in this. They tried this. Why was it so important that they drink rose water? My goodness. Drink it plain. Drink it with some liquor. Drink it. Why? I'm confused. 
Anywho, hey, C.A. Williams. Uh, Nasty Nesto doesn't seem to know his wife very well. I know Nesto is mad that she was getting out and living her life. That's right. And to be doing it, have the audacity to have her bestie and his. Now y'all really doing too much. That's what he's thinking. You're absolutely right. You were sick like Yeah, and I was but, throwing you know, up that. Yeah, I was in the restaurant, but after I threw up. I Thank you again for the super chat. Please hit the like button, people. Thank you. I was fine. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then Lamont, and then this place, and then this place we went, the first place we went, Lamont and the maitre d got into it because he didn't like what Lamont had on. So they were cursing each other out. And then, and then Debbie, and Debbie didn't know it. And I looked down there at Debbie and I was like, are you okay? And she was like, I got to go. And then she <laughs> threw up all the way, all the way to the ladies' room. Yeah. So we, they didn't know. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> we had two days. Uh, we had two days. I threw up first. I threw up on Monday, and Debbie threw up on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we, it was fun. But yeah, it was crazy. Damn. It was crazy. Nobody knew. So nobody knew. Yeah. Wow. I knew she. Was, yeah, Lamont didn't even know. Lamont didn't even know. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, once they go through the, once they go through the hall, through the, they'll, and in the bathroom, they'll see. Yeah, but you can't, that kind of stuff, sometimes you can't hold if you eat something bad or drink. It's like food poisoning. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And it just, it doesn't want to stay in your stomach. I'm going to go take a shower because I know you feel better. But y'all, okay, all of you are talking about rose water being a body spray and for your face and a body fragrance. They were drinking it. Why are they drinking it? What was that supposed to do? Is that why they throwing up all over the place for two days straight? What the hell? Why were they drinking it, though? And why was, why was the person so adamant that they continued to drink it? I'm tripping. Wait. Check out the movie Like Water for Chocolate. It's not so much about magic, but emotions affecting the food and drink. You'll love it. Okay, so here's the thing. So you think that they're drinking this rose water has something to do with why their food didn't agree with them? Because they're both talking about two days of being sick. I use rose water for love work, but it's just for your face. Okay, look, look, and let me say this. Well, never mind. I'm with you. I got you. Side hoe, Sonia. Thank you, side hoe, Sonia. <laughs> Thank you very much. I use it in my toners. Okay. And I've heard of rose milk. I have an, um, rose milk for the skin, for, for bathing and certain lotions and things of that nature. I'm just trying to understand why they're at a bar and the woman served them rose water. And then when they didn't like the taste of the rose water alone, they added liquor to it. Like I'm trying to understand why was it so important that they drink it? Why didn't they just spray it or rub it or, you know, splash it on themselves, but they're drinking it. Oh, rose water is the sexual connotation. Is it? Is it? I'm confused. Yes, you could. Uh oh. Yes, you could drink it with vodka or tequila. It's not good to me. Okay. Yeah. I could see that. I feel like I saw for what, like water for chocolate. Who was in that? Somebody major was in it. That's not um Meryl Streep was in it. Who was in that movie? Um, yeah, the goofy laughing is annoying as hell. Right. Okay. Much, much better said. Now my granny used rose water as a perfume. I could see that. I could see that. But I knew I'd heard of rose water being used in spell work. But I just thought that, you know, maybe he's upset because if the if the spell work is to release positive energy or something, maybe that's why he's, I don't know, child. If he does dark matter, I don't know. I don't know, honey. Hey, Shell again. Okay, let's see. All right, let's get back into it, y'all.
to make me feel better to enjoy yourself. So I did, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay. But y'all had a, a, All a right. reunion. But what I asked you was, how's your blood pressure? Oh, yeah, it's good. It's straight. It's what like I asked, hello? Oh. Yeah, you can't hear me? Oh, okay, good. Can you can't hear me? No, I didn't yeah, hear you when good. I, I didn't hear you then. <laughs> okay. So y'all gonna well, good. Be, I'm y'all glad gonna to yeah, y'all yeah, gonna party like that when I get out? I just want to make sure. <laughs> y'all might have to. Are we gonna party like home. that when you get out? Wait a minute, side hole. You know what? That's okay. Y'all, I'm not trying to make this whole talk about um, witchcraft or spell work or whatever. However, you know when they say that. Okay, let me read side hole's uh, side hole Sonia's um, uh, post. Uh, it's not far-fetched to think about it in the spiritual sense. For instance, some hairdressers will do spell work on you. And that doesn't surprise me. I had not heard of that, but I could see how that could happen. Because when you think about it, you always hear about people saying that they carry their emotions and their there's certain energy that's carried in our hair. And a lot of times when women are going through a major change, which, whether that's a breakup, a divorce, uh, uh, starting a new career, leaving the last job. A lot of times they will go out of their way um, to to cut their hair or to get a new look. But cutting your hair tends to be that one thing that a lot of women do to get rid of some of that energy. So that doesn't surprise me, Saito. I'm just saying, Saito, Sonia, you, that would not surprise me, child. Uh, I'm worthy. Thank you for the super chat. Lamont was probably trying to poison uh -uh, both Shirley and Debbie to get money from that life insurance policy for Nestle's bond. Child. Now, see, under normal circumstances, I would completely dismiss this, laugh it off. But because I've been watching this Diddy shit, all this shit about Diddy trying to get rid of people, all the stories you hear about Kim Porter and I'll be sure and possibly allegedly Jamie Foxx. And, you know, when you hear stuff like that, hear about bottles being um, being uh, spiked and stuff. And the desperation of this dude over here. Why, and why did Lamont ever hang out with them before? Like, hang out with Shirley by himself before all of this? Very weird. But thank you, I'm Worthy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Child, I'm very behind. Okay, let me go. Let me let y'all through. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it. <laughs> yeah, everything's shut down. <laughs> okay, okay. Shut down. No more money. Mm hmm Okay, that's good. All right. All right. Okay, well, then y'all keep so, um, on the road, so you, huh? But, yeah, we will. We'll be very happy. We'll be very happy to see you, that's for sure. Oh, I, 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 I will be. Uh, what you going to say to me? What now? What? I said we'll be very I'm... happy for sure to see you. We'll be oh, very happy oh, to yeah, see yeah, you, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. That's yeah. what I said. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you. I'll be yeah, 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 yeah. On it, so, yeah, yeah. Just take them and say, hey, do we still on yeah, for this yeah. week? <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah, text yeah. them last night when you told me to. Oh, okay. And then what I did he say? I texted yes. them that already. Yeah. He texted back and said, yes, correct? No, he didn't say yes. He didn't say yeah. yes. He just, you know, he's working on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. You're okay, then. All right. I mean, it wasn't well, a question. It wasn't a question. It was just, it was a statement. It wasn't a question. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So y'all, y'all was just going, y'all just going to look for a place and y'all, you know, going to eat. Yeah, you know, y'all been partying for 12, 13, 15 hours. You do know that, right? <laughs> yeah. And. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just But I'm no, just the saying. point was, she we, said, mm -hmm. the point was I had already called and I had already looked at the places and we couldn't get in. They didn't have, you know, they have some, well, 
Anyway, I'll tell you that later. Hit that like button, y'all. We went to look at the places, but they didn't have anything available. I mean, no, no appointments available. Okay. And I then I have the realtor, and then I told, yeah, I told Lamont, please, I just, I got to I need my keys. Oh, okay. And then y'all start from now. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, we ha- we were going to go to lunch. Any hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> we hear yeah, sir. yeah. Can oh, you hear okay. me? I said, well, we we were going to lunch. Yeah, I can hear you, honey. I can hear you. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, that's good. I think you're yeah, cutting off or something, bad. or maybe I'm in a yeah, bad probably. area. Yeah, probably. I can hear you all real good. Yeah, you're going in and out. All okay. right. You're I'll going in and out. Now. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. All right, you do. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay yeah, up. Keep your, head, keep your head up. Stay up. Keep, stay prayed up. <laughs> and we will be safe. And love you. Thank you. I love, love you. you too. Bye. I love you too. Bye. Can you hear me? All right. I love you. Bye. Bye. All right. Right. Yeah. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay. Anywho. Okay. So let me restart the next one. Um, Wigs and Wine, thank you so much for the cash chat. I'm going to have that caramel latte tomorrow, honey. Sure will. Thank you so much for blessing me with that. Thank you. All right. So what y'all think about Nasty Nesto? Do you think that Lamont, look, now we got a whole um, uh, uh, M plot. Uh, we got, uh, who was that just said, uh, <laughs> Who is that Iron Worthy over here? Then, then suggested that there's a whole plot to unalive this sister for insurance money. But I'm not trying to be funny. I just heard. So it's not like it sounds to me like from what you guys are saying in the chat and from what I have seen online that rose water is supposed to be good and healthy and good for many reasons: skin, hair. Uh, perfume, all of that. Okay, great. So either they were trying to cleanse themselves of this Negro, or why is why are they getting sick when they go out with Lamont? I am worthy. Said Lamont is trying to undo them, y'all. Undo their whole life. Oh my God. Okay, so let me um get the next one. <laughs> Damn, I am worthy. Sheesh, trying to get some insurance money. That was before they really knew what what they were really going to be dealing with, child. Lord have mercy. Okay, let's go on over here to this messy call. This is with, um, now I've heard some of it, but I haven't heard the whole thing. So I'll be listening to the whole thing with you guys. So this one is the calls that Nesto has regarding his CP charges, where he talks to Sonia, Lamont, and Dion at some point. I think these are multiple calls. Um, what you say? Wait a minute. Um, T Bone LA said Shirley thought she was drinking rose water. Oh, so you don't think she was? That's what they said. Bridget Shepherd said, I'm sick of hearing that ne- <laughs> Hold on. I'm sick of hearing that nervous and anxious laugh of nasty. And every time I hear it. Ain't no, and no, he's lying, getting ready to lie or thinking of a lie. Isn't that the truth? That man is cuckoo. It's weird. I don't know how she dealt with it. I mean, it sounds like she didn't get any, any, uh, uh, nerve and, and, and confidence to tell him to stop all that weird ass laughing or to control it till he got locked up. I remember that call. But she said, I'll, I'll be happy when you control that laugh. I remember that call. Now, that was one of the first calls I ever heard. <laughs> I remember that one. She was not with Lamont. She just got sick. They said they were with Lamont from lunch until 1 a.m. the next day. It could have been a date rape attempt. That's what I was thinking. It could have been something really crazy weird going on. Why that person was trying so, so hard to get them to drink that damn rose water. But anywho. All right, let's get to this next call, child. Oops, let me go back. All right, let me share my screen. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, please hit the like button. Please, please, please hit that like button. Thank you very much. 
And since we're breaking anyway, let's take a quick break and let me refresh my glass. You can refresh yours or you can feel free to bless the channel with the cash app or PayPal. You can do it right here. I'm mad I didn't eat before I started this live, child. I got some jerk chicken with some peas and rice and some curry potatoes. I'm hungry. Okay, let's get to it, shall we? Hit the like button, please. Thank you. This video contains two calls from January 12th, 2023. At this time, Nesto had just learned about his CP charges. You will hear Nesto and Sonia talk about those charges, his attorney, and Shirley Strawberry. Lamont joins the call to give his input and also tells them about going to lunch with Shirley and her friend Debbie. Take a listen. So this is like a couple of days after the call we just heard with Shirley and them. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Did they call you back? No. Yeah. They're not. They're just like a little girl. Well. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how, are you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling. I'm just still a shark. I'm like. I'm like this movie we Will Smith watching right now. Whatever they uh. Plan all that shit on try to destroy his life. Mm -hmm. you know, that fucking show came on. What show is that? He said with Will Smith. Is he talking about I Am Legend or is he talking about something else? Is he talking about um Enemy of the State? What is he talking about, y'all? Anyway, hit that like, please. Thank you. Right? It was that. Ain't that That's shit crazy? Very ironic. That's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. So I'm getting ready for this long day. Tomorrow. It's going to be a good day tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be a good day because the day sucked. So tomorrow's going to be an excellent day. <laughs> tomorrow never It sucked. is. That's what happens in life. When you get hit with a lot of shit, something good happens. Yeah. Maybe all bad. Something good is going to happen. Yeah. The crazy part is, the crazy part is, um, I got to sit all day. Then, if I if I do get one, I got to wait to get way back over here just to uh, just tell them that I got one, so they can go and get the process started and just get all on at one time. Hmm. You think so? Yeah, because I won't be able to get to my phone until I get back. Oh, 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 to get in touch with the, um, to get in touch with bondsmen. No, get in touch call somebody. Yeah, to tell them to go ahead on, you know, but. I'll check your thing, and then I can always call your brother who could call her, you know, or I'll call your son. But I'll yeah. check it every 30 minutes. So I'll check your, um, your thing. Oh, okay. Then I know what's going on, but. Mm -hmm. So he's saying he wants, or she's suggesting that. Dion or Lamont call Shirley. Shirley really, I mean, something that really does think that she's over here running shit. I'm just hoping that they're talking about no bond. I've seen they give people no bond because they records. I've seen that. They got no oh, but yeah, game. but like I said, it's, 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 it's not your history. So, you know, don't, it, don't, it, don't. It, it, don't. It, it don't matter. They go, high. They go by your cycles. That's how they've been doing it. It ain't like what you think. Right, bet, Danielle. What you talking about? You trying to think of a point system like that? Yeah, that's how they trying to. They saw that you've been locked up. That's how they going by. They're not going by with with this. 
They ain't going by that. That's Steve Petrini been locked up in 15 fucking years. What you say? It's been 15 years. I know that. But they don't care. Your last about conviction that. was how long ago? What was your last conviction? Uh, 2005. Okay. 2005. Huh? Yeah. That would be, what, 20 years next yes, year? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So? No yes, shit. Yes, it is. But what I'm saying is, they don't care nothing about that. I'm, I've been in there with them. I know how mm-hmm. to go. Yeah. So you're saying it's, a, it's just a picture. That's what you're saying. But you don't That's what he's saying it is. Right. He's saying it's a picture. Yeah. He he ain't saying no accurate shit either. Who? So, the attorney? That ain't how that shit go. Yeah. It's just, it's just a mess. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't even know uh, high, low, what it is. I don't even know what it is. So. I'm trying to focus on the positive of all of this. What's the and positive? Just, just stay. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. only positive about this is that those people who he victimized, he cannot get to. He cannot touch them. That is the only positive. The only person experiencing a positive are the victims in this moment because they are safe from his raggedy ass. But outside of that, what is the positive for him? What's the positive? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm going to be sitting up in the, in, the, uh, in the court with her. That, that shit there, man, that shit there pissed me off when you told me that. And I, and I know you ain't lying. Cause that's how mm. yeah, I, know, I know you ain't lying. That's a demeanor. He said he gonna sit up in the courtroom with your with whoever come to court with you tomorrow. Like he gonna be in the arraignment room or whatever. No, but, that, ain't, that ain't how they go. It be in the. It don't even be in there. That's what I'm telling you. They don't even be in there like that. It be everything be virtual now. So folks be lying. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, what? Yeah, all they do is just. So he could have came in there and then did a a a, a, a pull. He could have pulled out because the yeah. money ran out. But then he don't want to get... And then sometimes what happens to... Sometimes the judge won't let you off the case either. Because we had that problem where we tried to do a withdrawal and the judge wouldn't let us off the case. Okay. So maybe he don't want to get stuck and then be like, there ain't no money, so, but I can't get off because he knows by talking to her that the money is, is, is short. And maybe that's why, well, no, he said he don't do a sex crime before he talked to her. He said that shit. So, I don't know. But then he probably knew all the while because she'd been talking to him. And he'd been trying to keep key with her, you know, yeah. what shit was looking like before this even came up. Right. Because he's trying to make sure he get. no, oh, I ain't got paid in weeks. You a lot because we just had a conversation last Sunday when I was in town. And you said, oh, yeah, I see it. It's there. She just right. sent you 24. I mean, whatever she sent you made 24 last week. Okay, but here's the thing. Why are you so involved in that? Why? And why on earth would it be odd that the attorney for this woman's husband, the husband that's locked up inside, why would that be so odd that the attorney is keeping uh, in touch with the wife? Because under normal circumstances, the wife, would be the one orchestrating all of this, not the side hoe, not the side hen, not the side piece, not the side chick, none of that. None of the sides would be involved. It would simply be the wife. So make it make sense to me why this is odd that he would be keeping her abreast of things. It makes no sense. See, you don't even know why you mad at him because she was just about to blame on him the fact that um, um, now he's saying maybe he's because she wanted to say because he hasn't been getting paid or he's going to use not getting paid as the excuse as to why uh, or not getting paid but short on money as the excuse why he can't do more work or handle those other crimes. But then she called herself. So why are you mad at him? What do you do? That's right. That's and right. if you sit on 24 and you ain't really did shit, what are you even talking about? Thank you. So, My question is also this. I understand what it must feel like or what it does feel like 
to hire an attorney to handle a situation, you're sitting in limbo. You don't know. You're scared. You don't know what your future is going to hold. You know what's hanging in the balance. And I understand it looks like an attorney's not doing anything, but what is it that you expect them to be doing? What do you think that looks like? When you say he's not doing anything, how can you tell that? Based on what? Because here's the thing. The best attorney, attorney in the world might not be able to convince people to lower your charges, dismiss your charges, or what have you. They might not be able to convince them of that. No matter how hard they try, no matter how much they talk to them, send them letters, negotiate, it may not happen, sir. So just because you pay someone a lot of money doesn't always mean you're you're going to win. It does mean that hopefully you're in a better circumstance than you would be had you not had an attorney because their job is to get you the best possible outcome. It doesn't mean that they're going to guarantee a win. That's two different things. So you want to go to Ghana when it's all over? You go to Ghana and you want to have a record. Want what? Go, uh, go to where? You go to, you go to Ghana, your record won't come with you to stay with you. will stay right here. When all of this where? is done. Nah, I'm not oh. going over there. Dish. Hold on. Did she say Ghana? Hold on. Ooh. Or, uh, it, I mean, whatever she sent you made 24 last week. That's right. That's and right. if you sitting on 24 and you ain't really did shit, what are you even talking about? Thank you. So. <laughs> so you want to go to Ghana when it's all over? You go to Ghana and you won't have a record. You want to what? Go, uh, go to where? You go to, you go to Ghana and your record won't come with you to stay with you. stay right here when all of this is done. Nah, I'm not oh. going over there, that shit. You're so scared of the black, black people over there. Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling right now. I hate the thought. So funny. Um, a fee of vlogs just said, um, Ghana ain't messing with no, uh, oops, ain't messing with no pedos. And you're right. And I, I think it's disrespectful for people to think folks with the most heinous shit hanging over your heads that we'll all be better off if he goes to another country and terrorizes some other people. I don't like that shit. That's nasty. I. Lock this nigga up, period. Period. Brain is shot right now. Oh, I got to go, go all the way back over there and deal with that. And it, that is the most embarrassing shit ever right now. Why? Who would hear that? Um, anybody would hear that besides you when you go through that? Yeah, the whole room would be a whole room of people. Oh, no. Yeah, that would be a whole room full of people. Everybody here. Everybody and there might be some people that might come back over to Cobb with you, too. Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah. All that be going on. Oh, wow. Yeah, all that. Oh, no. That's, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah, that just make my life even worse now. Why? Because they like to fuck with people when they think it's a, a, a crime and against a child and, and not even think that that shit is a fucking lie, dude. Like, y'all need to realize everything we get accused of is not the fucking truth. But a lot of times, a lot of shit you're accused of, you are. It is the truth. And this is the truth. I believe it. My points. Yeah, absolutely. So. That's what people fail to realize. Oh, well, if he was found guilty, he must be guilty. No. That's not true either, because the fucking prosecutors always lie. They do whatever it takes to get a win, and 90% of the time, it's not the truth. They hold withhold evidence. They twist facts. They do anything for a fucking win. If they don't get a flat-out truthful confession, 90% of their whole act in court is a lie or exaggeration so, of what so actually what, really what, happened. What is his mind frame? Because it's like he never liked me from the beginning. I don't think that's it. It's he weird. doesn't have to like you. If he's a good attorney, he doesn't have to like you. He doesn't have to believe you're innocent. You don't have to be innocent. He can still be a good attorney and be the best one for the job. Now, that's just facts. That's just facts. Why don't you let him do his job? It sounds like you're not allowing anyone to be on the case long enough to get any sort of latitude here uh, uh, so that they can do their job well. 
You won't give any. It's ridiculous. Huh? I think if I think the whole thing is 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 some um, is once he got like a weekend and and you know in the in the dynamics of what's going on, he's feeling some type of way. Okay, he's got this famous wife and da 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 she's successful and da 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 and then he's got the hot friend over here, like what the fuck? And they just so loyal to him. I can not find one person to be loyal to me. He got these two, like but you know, so I think it'd be and then this lady has a huge inflated sense of self. She's the hot friend. And now the attorney is jealous because the, the attorney doesn't understand. How can this dude have two women that are loyal to him? You know, the famous wife and the hot side friend or whatever. Child, we got to hear this again. With that whole feminine vibe he got going on. Who got a feminine vibe, nigga? Just... Everybody has a feminine vibe to you. Why are you always worried about somebody's right. sexuality? And the fact that you're worried about it, yet you live in Atlanta. Like, like, the, the, what are we doing here? You can get it. And what does that got to do with the price of tea in China? Nothing. And then you got the hot friend over here. Like, what the fuck? And they just so oh, loyal. We got to go back again because that's too much. I don't get a flat out truthful confession. 90% of their whole act in court is a lie or an exaggeration of what actually what, 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 really happened. What is his mind? Right? <laughs> it's like he never liked me. Well, he said this I was a trick. I don't think that's it. It's weird. Huh? I think if I think the whole thing is 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 some is once he got like a weekend and and you know in the in the dynamics of what's going on, he's feeling some type of way. Mm. Okay, he's got this famous wife. And da -da 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 -da. she's successful and da -da 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 -da. And then he's got the hot friend over here. Like, what the fuck? And they just so loyal to him. I can not find one person to be loyal to me. He got these two. Like, what you know? So I think it'd be and then with that whole feminine vibe he got going on, I think it's just sometimes when a person's sitting on money and success, it's not enough. So, so remember I told you what that picture of that room was like. Right, it looked right, like right, you, right, you right. get me. So it's like it's it like all like I see about how all these successful rich ass people killing themselves. Right. That's not exactly happiness because you're sitting here alone, sitting in success every night. This dude go home by himself. He's in the house by himself. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just a, like a reflection reminder of this is my life. I go, I, I make all this money, but it's just me. I have no one to share it with. <laughs> I, I it's just me. He. Hold up. Much better said. Maybe Dre is the hot friend. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He, he has no one to go with. He keeps trying to talk about, um, you know, if we keep talking like this, you can go with me to, to my on my trip. I'm like, uh-huh. 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 No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. There's nothing that they told me has panned out yet. I'm just going to be honest with you. No, he got your bond. He got it approved. It's just, it's just, he just, whatever happened today. The thing of it is, is you, you can't, and he, you can't put an exact on some things when it's more than you in, involved. I mean, you got the prosecutor, you got the judge, and you got yourself. So if it was just him doing this alone and, and saying, okay, da, 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 then yeah, sure, for a second, I can't get it done. But if, if this person, if the prosecutor is taking his sweet fucking time signing it and bringing it back over to me, and then the judge takes his sweet time doing what he's supposed to do, then it can't happen when I say it's going to happen. And that's what he should have said. He got it approved, you know. He did get it approved, but everything is happening on everybody else's, you know, thing. Like nobody's, okay. like he can't force him to hurry up. Yeah, but I don't believe it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, uh, after today, I don't know what to believe. I don't believe it. What you told me, that shit, that shit got me blowed all the way around. That's, that is some devious shit. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. It sure is. 
That's some devious, cold-blooded shit right there. You're devious. That's that right there. That's probably in the playbook. Ain't nobody heard of. But you told me. I, I, I just, I just feel like he should have never uh, said anything to her. He should have never. Especially if you're not representing. I mean, he should have never said shit. So he was told twice. Don't yeah. discuss. And and it's nothing strange. I didn't go back on my word and tell you. Now you can start talking. What about bearing does that have on your case, though? Let's just in the in the in the grand scheme of things, what does this attorney speaking with her husband? I'm sorry, speaking with his client's wife. How does that harm his case? How does that interfere with the case? There may be things and ways in which your wife can assist this attorney to have a better sense of what your reputation looks like to the public, what types of things you're doing, who your friends are, who's going to know those things better than the wife. So how all of a sudden is it, it it's a bad thing for this attorney to talk? No, because you're on some bullshit. You're on some bullshit. I don't know what you were thinking quite in this moment. Because you certainly couldn't have been thinking that you were actually going to trade in Shirley for Sonya. Because I heard, it, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I heard, what was that call the other day? That was in January. It was around the same time, January 2023. And he was saying how he loves her. He wants to be with her. Um, you're talking about uh, his wife, that is. He can't wait to be with her. Uh, he is so happy to be uh, her husband all within days of what of this call right here. Within days. Very crazy. He's a sick puppy. Excuse me. And Sonia, hopefully you're listening and paying attention because he was telling you one thing, but he was telling his wife what he's supposed to be saying to his wife. Okay. All the shit you didn't believe was true between he and his wife. He was saying how much he loved her, how much he appreciated her, how he looks forward to their future together, how he made the best decision of his life to marry her. But yeah, he over here talking shit with you because he's using you. He's using both of you. He don't give a damn about either one of you. Let's be really clear. He don't love neither one of you. He don't love his kids. He don't love his friends. He don't love his damn self. So he certainly does not love either one of you ladies at all. He's a scammer. He is nothing but a narcissistic scammer who only thinks of himself, period. Sonia, I hope you're paying attention, fool. No. Why is that, well, I get, well, you shouldn't have did that either. Why you shouldn't have done nothing? Them, I just told them that yesterday. <laughs> Did you talk to her again and tell her not to talk to him anymore? I did today. No, no, I didn't tell him that far. I told him, don't trust nothing nobody tell you right now, period. Oh, well, you know, sometimes, man, I don't know, I want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Because mm -hmm. you don't understand how deep this shit getting is. It ain't got real deep. Yep. So it ain't got yep. real motherfucking deep. So, yep. And Hold on. CCB, thank you for the super chat. Nesta was all over the news. The attorney most likely wanted to tell Shirley before it got out, not to mention that she's paying the bill. Hmm. Right. Well, yeah, not to mention the fact she's paying the bill. Of course, she would want to let her know. And she probably would talk to him before the attorney would. The attorney has more clients than just this raggedy Negro. OK, I'm sure he has a bunch of raggedy Negroes and other ethnic groups. OK, he's got a lot of people that he is probably trying to be accountable for uh, where cases are concerned. But this wife and he that all they have to worry about is themselves. So he probably feels I can tell the wife I can get her on the phone right away. I can't just call. She can't just call Desto and say something and ask a question or anything. But nine times out of 10, Nestle's going to call his wife every day. And so if the attorney has something to say, even to, um, to Nesto, wants to get the message to Nesto, it's probably faster to give it to the wife. Because in a normal circumstance, that guy, that person in jail is probably going to call their, their spouse more often than they call anyone. It's only in this particular situation, with this 
particular raggedy individual that he, uh, not him, he, he's going to call the side hoe many, many times. Side piece, side chick, side hen, side hoe, whatever. Okay? Going back to it. And, yeah, and, and you should have told me about Thank you, CCB. Before you told him, because here's the thing. He went to use that shit right, right for their revenge. And I didn't like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you shouldn't she, she shouldn't. She she needs she needs to not ever take his call. Period. Yeah. What? Well, I'm gonna uh, refer that tomorrow morning if I be here. Mm -hmm. They working. They working now, so I can't do that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I, I can't. It, I'm fucked up right now. My, I'm not gonna even sleep tonight. Got it in the door, and I gotta get up, go get on that shit. Man, that shit crazy on the midway. You can't see shit. Got to ride for an hour with no no nothing. Shit is crazy. I know. It's, I it's a sit, I got to sit in the goddamn another cell for at least three more hours before I can go in there. Then I got to sit another five hours before I be brought back. Just for that. Damn, it's like that? All day like yeah, that? Yeah, that shit is fucked up. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> shit is I'm sorry, sir. Um... Bridget says, you guys, since the CP charges are going before the grand jury, if Nesta was ever to make bail for whatever reason, he will run for sure. I believe so, too. I believe. And I mean, let's be clear. He's 60 years old. These charges are not going to be fun for him if he goes to prison. He has a prison record and several arrest records since he was last imprisoned. The charges in and of themselves um, and based upon the the evidence they have and the witnesses that we're talking about, nine times out of ten, he knows he's going to have to do some time. He's going to do some time, if any. I think he wants to avoid doing any kind of time. I do believe if he gets out, he will run. He may not go to Africa, he but he might go to the Bahamas or somewhere. I think he would run, too. Just my thoughts. And I get it. Pussy wouldn't have run with all of them people that just was heard what went on and shit. And you gotta be in that with them looking like, okay, that, that that's not true. That's exactly what's going mm -hmm. on. So they're gonna be like, damn, what else are you into if this is what you got charged? What else Facts. are you doing? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, no. yes, 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 yes. He's a sexual deviant. Period. You don't understand that? You don't want to take the clues that are right before your eyes. We are, we're talking about women. We're talking about kids. We're talking about animals. We're talking about a whole deviant. And you are over here caping for this here uh, uh, nasty individual. That's what you're doing. He's a deviant. It's making me think y'all are deviants. Sylvia, I really am thinking you're a deviant. I'm not trying to be funny because... Numbers don't lie. People lie. The numbers don't. And I mean that. Um, Sonia, you're looking more and more like a deviant as well. I don't get you either at this point. But let's get back into it. There you go. Well, all you got to do is while you in, while you on your court, whether you and mute or not, I would just be like, this is bullshit ass. Like, this is so set up. Like, what the fuck? Oh, let me say this too. Just me. Great post. These replay videos and newly released videos are going to make Silly Bish even more unhinged. With his social security number and social media accounts, she has him by the balls. I agree. And she is going to become unhinged because if she was paying attention to that that video the other day when he was talking about how much he loves his wife, how much he appreciates his wife. And then within days, he's over there talking about her, talking to Sonya, making it clear he knows that she wants him. I mean, he's playing both of y'all like a damn fiddle. The only person who said they are done playing is Shirley. But this maestro has still got you over here playing. Yes, yes, he does, Sonya. He got you playing still. And, and That's the thing, all. yeah, the thing about it is, you can't really talk to an lawyer. You only get you get three minutes to talk to a court defender. That's it. That's all. That's it. And they'll write down whatever y'all talk about. And they go in the courtroom and they try to explain your case. And they never met you, never talked to you for thirty fucking seconds. And then just already made in my mind, nope, 
No more. Threat to society. That's how that shit go. I'm telling well, you. Well, what you do is you make sure you stress to them because they, they might not have your history in front of them. They because do, I don't know they, how they, they do that. They do do they that. Have Baby, they got her, his history. Trust and believe. They got his history in front of them. Oh, for sure they do. Sonia, come on now. They got that's how that shit go. So do. They, they read that all you shit out the best they can right then. They go from where they read your history. No, you, 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 when you talk to the attorney prior to you going up, you stress. This is a setup. In my background, I do not have any crimes of this nature in my background. I don't and never have done anything like this. That's what his Period. daughter said. That's what you have to stress. More than anything, so that they can get across if this is, you know, you don't want them to ever not know if this is a repeat situation. You want to stress that it's not. I am almost, I am 58 years old and never ever have I ever possessed owned anything of this nature, not even adult porn. You know, children porn, adult porn, dog porn, cow porn, no porn. Period. I don't possess that shit. This is not. A correct charge mm. for me. I need a bond, and I need you to stress that. Mm. Right. But I need you to understand that I do not have a history of this charge. Here. You got to. He has a history of the behavior. It's just that nobody had placed any um, um, charges against him. But that doesn't mean he wasn't guilty of doing it. His daughters say different. His ex employees say different. His ex uh, uh, potential candidates to be employees say different. Did I say his children say different? Child. That's too much right there. His freaking children. I don't do stuff. That's what you have to stress more than anything. All that other shit, not worried about all of that. You stress to them that you don't Thank have Thank you, Lexi. His laptop says otherwise. That's right, Lexi. That laptop tells it all. It's going to tell us when they acquired those pictures, who who tapped into them, how many times they've been viewed. Oh, yeah. They already know what they need to know. This fool's over here just, he's over here entertaining Sonya and these, these friends and whatnot. But I think the friends know better. I think Sonya's the only fool that believes them if she does. History. I did not do this. I don't have a history of that. Whatever. Right. And I need to get a bond out on that. As low as you can get it <laughs> possible. I've never done anything like this. Ever. Or would I ever. Now you have to stress to them. Let's, say, let's be clear about something. Do you think it's smart for someone to throw out in a conversation of a recorded call that, hey, you could go to Ghana and they won't extradite you over there? Does that seem smart? This is a person who wants to get a bond. This is a person who wants to be able to get out of jail. And on a recorded line, it made sense for you to throw out. He could be looking at this, you know. Sounds like you you would be a, a, a co-conspirator, ma'am. Is that true, Sonia? You'd be conspiring with Onesto to get him out the country? You probably over there now trying to get a whole passport uh, constructed. You don't um, say that. They're, that's all you want to put in their head. So when they go, they know he doesn't have a history of this, you know, at all. This is, you know, whatever they say. But, but this, the this he, man doesn't. But, 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 for one, but the way he's saying it, the shit bad. Yeah, okay. So he didn't, the second time I talked to him about it and I asked him about the bond, he was saying it like it's just a picture i mean it's not like he did something to somebody or blah, blah, blah. it's just it's just possession of a picture and okay so this is what he said too he said now because i don't know what the picture looked like what i would say is if the person if the person looks between a toddler and a 12 year old you know it's a minor but sometimes certain people so you don't know what the, we don't know what the picture is that they that they're claiming that, that that you possess, right? Okay. It can be an actual grown person that they assume it's a child. You know, right, even though right, from what the, right. what he's saying the picture is, I'm like that's not him. Period. Anyway, because he don't he don't Thank possess you. nothing sexual with no fucking animals. 
Here's the thing right here. And thank you, Sonia, for the the mention of the animals, because that's where I'm about to go next. Let's say all of the pictures have grown ass adults in them. Let's just say it. Let's just humor them and say they weren't children, that they are actual adults. But the activities that they are participating in, guess what? That is still illegal. The fact that animals are involved with these quote unquote adults makes it still, uh, it makes it illegal. And sir, you can say all you want, but the pictures and the forensics will not lie. That digital footprint is there for life. It's there. They already know. And you know that they know, sir. But you are just hanging on, huh? You just gonna deny, deny, deny. All right, Shaggy. A child or an adult, he don't possess shit like that. I said, he's not a freak at all. Shit. He's not that person. He's very normal when it comes to shit. shit. So that right there. What is normal about driving around with zipper, with with masks, with zippers, with Liquid V and toys. What is normal about that? That's normal, ma'am. He's normal. He's not a freak. Oh, he's he's a weirdo. He's a whole freak of a freak of deek. Oh, yes, he is. And they know it. And that is why when they found that computer in that car that was in Shirley's name, they didn't eat, they had been watching. They already knew what to look for. They already knew to look at this Negro. I don't care what they say. Shirley Strawberry had to have been talked to at some point because how would they know that the, the computer's not hers? She's talked to the to the to the law enforcement. Best believe that. You best believe that. She knows all about them pictures. She knows what's in that computer. She may not have seen it, but she damn sure know they're real. And she knows that they found that computer in there with that bullshit in that car. And they established with her that that was not her computer. I know the computer says it has his name on it, but they got him and the computer in her car. So you better believe they talked to Shirley Strawberry. Shirley has known more and, and been playing along for longer than he's before they stopped talking. She had been talking. Just know that. She had been talking to them. Her mind, she's been trying to get her mind right. Uh-uh. They talked to her. They let her know. This dude ain't right. He's got this girl. He probably, they probably told him about, I'm sorry, probably told Shirley about Sonia. Shirley probably found out from Sonia from the police. Because you can best believe anything we know, the police knew first. Okay, they knew it first. He's a deviant. And for you to sit up here and act like he ain't when she knows she might be one too, though. She look hell, she hang around deviants, so maybe she's a deviant too. I mean, that's too much. I can't hang around a damn deviant. No, no, no. Don't want to be associated with it. But you're associated with two that we know of, but that's neither here nor there. I could tell you it's some whack shit. That's not him. He's not. Extreme, freaky, bondage, S and M, crazy, like that's not him. He he's not somebody you just gotta be like, What the fuck? That came out your mouth? Like, no. He didn't even have a nasty mouth, period. At all. Call me you know? I, I, no. don't. I, don't. I don't. Very wholesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know, right? Very wholesome. I got you big shit. <laughs> I believe they probably did instruct her to cut her ties, but he they probably also said go ahead and play along. Like, I believe that um, they let her know that he might be dangerous. And she probably recalls some instances where she may have felt in danger with this Negro. Because I believe that when he gets angry, he turns into something else. And then I believe he comes back and apologizes and woos the women and, and, you know, I don't know, cast another spell on their ass. And then he then they're good. They forget they got, you know, permanent or temporary amnesia. OK, and so they, they deal with him again. So I think when somebody like the police come to you and say, your man is this, that and the other, there are going to be some moments where she can draw in and say, mm, that might be true. Well, this did happen to me. Oh, she may not have said anything to them right away, 
But that's how a woman's mind works. And she's taking in all the information. And she probably thought about it. And I bet she had multiple conversations with them. And she may have played around and and um, thought she was going to lead him on. And maybe he'd say something. Where I don't know. I, I don't know. But I do believe and know that she talked to the police. And they talked to her. And they had to ask her questions about that car. Who normally drives it? What, what about this computer? Is it yours? They got to ask those questions. They have to ask them. So anyway. You don't. I was going to go to Google. That's what I see what you get. Here's the thing. She may not have known he was in jail. I'm talking about once she once it was clear that he was in jail. We're talking about once he's been in jail, he'd been in there for a while. Trust and believe. Uh, they, they've talked to Shirley. They have talked to Shirley. For sure. There. nothing else like and that's nothing so you know so uh, he was just saying like that's what you would argue is gifts that he either um stole from somebody or money he stole from somebody to buy him trish and 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 that's right he would come in there he woo her and win her back the same way he got her the first time they probably went through that over and over again and she probably got amnesia over and over again but at the end of the day, one of the reasons why she probably didn't know he was in jail is because she wouldn't even live with him. Sonya said, now I know Sonya be lying, y'all. I know. But Sonya said that he, while she was staying with her friend, he was staying in the RV. That they might see each other during the day or they might talk during the day. But at, when it came to lay their heads, she laid her head at her friend's house. He laid his head in that RV. If my husband is not with me every single night, why wouldn't I think he's cheating? He's in a, a mobile bedroom. He can go and pick up somebody and fook anywhere outside the town, okay? Because he has a whole RB. Show by. She knew he wasn't shit. She knew that. But now she has all the details. And I bet that attorney um, gave her some insight too, as well as the police. The police are always happy to tell. Mm -hmm. just, just point she was saying that first of all once you see the picture is it an actual child or is it a grown person because i in my 40s was mistaken as a 17 year old matter if it's and i was in my 40s and the person didn't want to sell me a couple times they didn't want to sell me a lottery ticket because they thought i was under 18 and i was in my 40s because katie was up there like grandma like you know what, what? i'm saying up and talking. yeah a couple times they would not sell me a lottery ticket because the guy was like um, you're not old enough to buy a ticket. And I was like, excuse me? I was like, how, how old do you have to be about a lottery ticket? He was like 18. I said, okay, so I hit 18 about 20-something years ago. Oh, well, like, just show the damn ID, ID heifer, and so keep it pushing. Anybody can look in the age. You, like things, you got kids that look like they're grown or not. You got grown-ups that look like kids. Okay, so it's just a matter of what the fucking picture Please. is. CCB, thank you for the super chat. Shirley was refusing to talk uh oh, what happened? Refusing to talk to de um to the detectives for a while. I hope when she heard CP, she at least made sure it wasn't images of her granddaughter. I would bet once she found out about her daughter going to the police, remember she knew about it before she told him, and she said it had happened a month prior to her telling him about it about the daughter having gone to the police. I believe she knew weeks before she told him. I don't know what made her tell him in that very moment she did, but I think she knew well before she mentioned it to him. But for whatever reason, she knew it, it may come out and she thought she should tell it. That's what I believe. And I believe just because she says she had been avoiding detectives doesn't mean she had been avoiding detectives. Now that I also believe. But even if she had been, once her daughter went and stated her case and she found out that her name was going to be added to the people that he can't have nothing to do with, I bet you Shirley wanted to know more and more about what that situation was. And maybe it was more beneficial to act cool with him for a while than it was to just cut him clean off. That's just my thought. I think, look, we're all guessing here. 
I'm speculating because I don't freaking know. I don't talk to these people. Okay. But um, I do believe that. What you say? Danielle said, even before they were evicted, I don't think he came up regularly. Remember the teacher said he spent many nights at her house. Yeah. So what is all this? They ain't even together together. But when he, why would he, so here's the thing. In that call that we heard before this, you know, in the other, when he's talking to Deb and son, I mean, Deb and Shirley. And he makes this reference about, yeah, I had a dream about you. We were humping. We was doing it. That was good. Do you think he just did that for show? To show like, oh, for your friends, this is my job. My job is to pretend like we are a happy couple. So even though I'm in jail and your friend is right there and, and you're on a uh, speaker, maybe I'll say this to solidify that we really together. We really got, you, you know what I mean? Like, do you think that has anything to do with it? Because I don't understand the point. It didn't even sound romantic the way he said it. It was it was weird. It was weird. It was very weird. Yeah. With that part, you, like, the thing of it is, outside of all of that, it's like, you know you didn't do it. You know you don't search for porn. You have never did no shit like that. How that picture they're trying to put on you is either, it's got to be a plant. You know, somebody's yeah, playing with it. To figure, how can you be arrested for somebody for a picture? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to grasp with that. That's Negro, it is not one picture. It's 30-something pictures. I think they said 34. It's 30-plus 30 pictures, sir, of children and animals. Let's take children off the table. The animals are real. The animals are there. The animals are doing things to humans. So... If you don't want to, if we're going to go back and forth about this age of people, let's just take it off the table. Animals are involved. They were in your computer. They know it came from you. And your 14-year-old daughter says she's seen it before. So stop with the foolishness, Sonya. I'm trying to say it's pornography. So I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Somebody must have. And it had to be that person in your camp that can't stand you. That's just been bitter. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your brother calling me. You want to? Ooh. See, she talked too much. So she sounds like she's talking about Erica. Why, why did she convinced that Erica hates Nesto? And what did Nesto do? Did Nesto do something to Erica to cause her to hate him? Because that's who she's talking about, right? That person in your camp that can't stand you or whatever. Must be Erica, because she always wants to throw shit on Erica's back. What is that about? George Peach says, whatever happened to Sheridan was revealed. Shirley knew that she needed to leave him alone, because if he and Sheridan went from hanging out to can't stand each other, Shirley was finally told. I believe she knew something, too. I, I believe that. I believe Shirley's trying to fix whatever damage she caused by believing this Negro over her own child or not handling him and this situation correctly. I do believe that. Connect him? Yeah. All right. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm back now. Okay, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Yeah, brother. What's going on, bro? <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? Man, what are you up to? That ain't got on my motherfucking nerves, bro. He got them women get on my motherfucking nerves, bro. Oh, so you're thinking, Dutch just says, I believe it's Sheridan that's being referred to. So that's the person in her in his camp that can't stand him? Okay, so let's say it is Sheridan. I don't know. You could be right. Could be very right with that. I just think that's, I don't know how mother could ever stand with a man who caused any sort of harm to her child, no matter how old the child and no matter what harm we're talking about. I don't know how it was done. I don't know how you, how you do that. What the hell? I don't wish to see my ass up. She got all these goddamn bags. Now, if you got all them bags, you need to call you a truck. Because my car ain't no, uh, <laughs> ain't no truck. All the bags scratching up my seats and all that. Though. One bag weighs about 200 pounds. Then when you get to the airport, you talking about, do you have $100? No, I don't have 30 cents Chinese money to give you. 
I'm not finna right. give you a damn quarter. If you got to tip all these people and give them all money, you need to come to the airport with money. I'm not contributing to none of this shit. Damn. Okay, okay. Hold on. Make it rain. I have said that too. I feel like did somebody send this lady lady to ruin his life? Is she trying to sabotage him? Because even her throwing out here about moving to Ghana. Who says that on the recorded jail call line? Who says that? He's trying to get a whole body. You out here talking about where he could go so he could avoid a criminal record? So crazy. These people, these hoes ain't loyal. These hot hoes is not loyal. Okay. I don't know what be wrong with it. They can on my motherfucking nerves, bro. I swear to God. They my goddamn ass ache. They get on my goddamn nerves. That's so ass aching. Man, they complain the all the motherfucking time. Pull up to the front where you should have caught a cow. <laughs> look her brother man. go ahead now so he's in about a woman you got better problems than that i'm just trying to tag with shit. we need to talk about something different here god damn so well, he need to get it off his chest so he can try to go sleep yeah yeah yeah, so I go very, yeah that's true. she's a little too familiar with somebody she just met over the phone that she shouldn't even be talking to outside of her man talking to him or maybe sending them a message here and there. But she sounds a little too damn familiar with these people and how she likes to refer to them, how she's ready to insult them, how she's ready to just play with them. Like all of this a little too much if you ask me, but that's just me. Besides I don't fuck around and got a break job. This lame ass nigga up there, every time I go up there, they changing the motherfucking price. Then when I mess down on my breaks, the damn stern wheel shaking. And the damn wheel feel like it's about to come off. Damn. Yeah, you need some new brakes. That's what that is. The brake I just got new brakes. I got new brakes, new rotors, and new brakes. They must have put something. They must have did something. No, Ain't that, right. No, they the caliber the caliber stick. That's why. The caliber stick. No, 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 no. That's it. Got, Thank no, you. I can tell you what it is. Your rotors. You they didn't put new rotors on there. The rotors are worn. That's what it is. You can get new brakes. They either didn't stand them or they didn't flip them and they didn't replace them. Yeah, they got to take them off, put some new rotors on it because they didn't heat it up so much when your pad was going bad. So your thing done swelled up. That was going on. Damn shit, shaking and going on like the goddamn AC wheel. Yeah, that's what it is, damn brother. You get on there tomorrow on that deal. You good to go. Your, your, your fucking lawyer is a gay bird. Fucking sister, I think all of them fucking each other. <laughs> you know, packing all of them. I think they're hey. a bunch of back of sisters. Did you talk to him or something? No, I ain't talk to him. I, I, every time I call him, I can't get him on the phone. So wait a minute. First of all, what does that have to do with anything? If that man is married to a man and got a house full of kids and a wonderful gay life, what does it have to do with you? Can this man fight cases? Is he good at what he does? I don't give a damn who he sleep with, okay? I need to get out of fucking jail and I need to get out of here without a, a, a conviction. Why do you care who that man's sleeping with? You better hope he's sleeping with the prosecutor, okay? You better hope he in bed with the judge or some shit. That's what I be asking. Then you over here worried about uh, uh, who this man's sleeping with. Nigga, you, you better worry about where, where you gonna be sleeping. How about that? That's probably more important. These people are crazy. And why is this the topic of discussion? Somebody's sexuality. That's the part I don't understand. That's the whole the whole talk about sexuality in most arenas. I don't understand. Because I don't give a damn who you sleeping with. You ain't sleeping with me. So I don't give a fuck who you sleep with. Who, what you do in your house? They ain't got shit to do with me. Okay? I don't understand it. But I still... By the way, the lady talks, he might be a sugar bell. Damn. Damn. Sugar bell. Yeah, I'm so conscious. Yeah, no. I said a nigga might be got them. Nigga might have sugar in his thing. Both sides, left and right. When I was talking to her, when I was talking to her, she was on the line calling in. I was talking to his. Earlier. Oh, who? When? Oh, what'd you say? I was calling in when? Just calling in when I was talking to Shirley on Eileen. 
Yeah, man, I've been trying to get this shit, man, because this shit got the... I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, this he shit didn't too want to much, much this- say Shirley's name. He's damn near tiptoeing around saying Shirley's name, referring specifically to who he was talking about. Uh-huh. Because of that little sign. I'm going to be taking good about it in a minute. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck they got going on. Yeah. This shit ain't this goddamn dude. What the fuck is y'all doing? I, I don't understand it. I, I, really I was don't. talking to her. And she said, well, yeah, the lawyer said it. I said, look, get him in and stop calling you. He ain't got nothing to talk about. What the fuck is he keep calling for every other 30 minutes? Deliver the fucking message, nigga, and don't call back no more. Hey, everybody. Um, thank you, Shell Loves. If you are using curse words in the chat, please make sure you are misspelling them. I'm not trying to really censor you, but certain words will not get shown in the chat automatically. Um, my moderators can review the messages. A lot of times that causes more messages to be reviewed. But if it has a curse word that's spelled out correctly, it will not be shown. OK, so you can misspell words like shit, words like even the F-U-C-K. You can put a symbol or something in there. Just make sure that you're not spelling out the curse words. OK. All right. You can fix you. Be creative. OK. All right. Here we go. What the fuck is he trying to be buddy buddy for? Hey, Thank you. I told, mm-hmm. I told the body, ain't that much goddamn talking in the world. You deliver the message. What you need to talk to him is, how much the price is, what you need me to buy, and this is when I'm going to get the money to you. Other than that, all that back and forth and texting and all that. All that Why is-, is that bothering anybody? If you don't have anything to hide, isn't it good that the attorney has a good relationship with your wife? Like, what are we talking about here? Y'all are, are, are demonizing the wrong thing unless you are trying to hide something from her. Because otherwise, I don't see the point. She is helping you by staying in good graces with the attorney. When you're being an asshole, he may not want to quit on your ass or stop working hard for your ass because he cares about the wife. So this doesn't make any sense to me. You all sound like idiots. But then again, I signed up for this shit. So let's listen. He can't, he can't keep my, it like that. That's not yeah, in his my, nature. My point ain't here to regulate all this shit, but he don't, we don't move like that. We, no. we don't, that ain't how we operate. We don't operate like that. I uh, operate like that, man. Not at all. Well, I don't give a fuck. Wait, operate like that. No, we got, I told her that. I said, we got standards. We operate off standards. We don't move around like that. Yeah. When, when her and Big Bird, when I took them out the other night, I took them out. Not the other night, but a while, like two days okay. ago. Uh-huh. And uh, I told them, hey, look, we don't operate like that. I don't know what kind of shit they got going on, but don't nobody tell me what to do. I cussed the manager out in there. She'll tell you, I cussed them out first. Yeah. Cussed the other motherfucker out. She ain't tell you about it. That's it, Cornbread. I think they are trying to scam Shirley on some level. You know, they're getting money out of her, and then they... they hire somebody and then fire them and then one money transferred and it's just all stupid i didn't even know attorneys would do all that transferring of cash and whatnot yeah, they yeah. About it. They about it. yeah you are ready to go i got them motherfuckers straight i don't give a fuck who else in here i'm in here don't nobody tell me what the fuck to do i don't work here you work here so you tell them what you don't boss me around then you can tell them my bitch hey you need to move First of all, bro, you don't know her. You know her. You got a relationship with this man. She said, no, I don't know him. Please, sir, stay away from me. <laughs> please, please, sir, stay away from me. I don't want no problems tonight with nobody. Good. You old nigga. Back the fuck up. You say, well, you can leave. I say, I done been kicked out of better place. I agree, Sonia's hairline. Shirley allowed and let him do too much without asking questions. That's right. But their whole situation sounds like now, you know, in hindsight, it just sounds like a whole facade. I mean, literally from, from beginning to end, like this woman is not even married to this man unless they got married after the divorce in 2021. <laughs> She's not even married to him. Fuck this restaurant, and better yet, fuck you too. They said, "Wow, you know our people didn't—they never heard me act up like that." They said, "Woof, Jesus, 
This is yeah. exciting. <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> Hey, that's the old they said too. Yeah, they ain't saying talking about that. Man, I cut that man. Head. I cut that crack out so bad. He come telling me, "Oh, you got on tennis shoes." I said, "Nigga, these ain't no motherfucker tennis shoes. Nigga, these designer shoes." And how you gonna tell me I can't come sit down at the set? I'm not sitting at no bar with no regular niggas. Do I look like a regular nigga to you? I'm not sitting in there. You trying to put us all in there because it's niggas in there? No. I sit down at a white coffee table with a with the, at the table. He no, nah, you can't go in there. You ain't got no dress. So I said, well, you got he got on he got on a whole Sean John that old Umbro suit that Sean John used to wear. You know what I'm talking about? They see the one, the black one. Yeah. He used to have Sean John name on there. It was like velour or something like that. One of the velour suits. He had one of them velour suits on. He done had the last ten years. That shit that turned color. It's supposed to be black. It was like a black brown. So I was like, I told him, I said, he got on what? He said, yeah, he do, but he come in here all the time. He's he's a loyal customer to Ruth Chris. I said, man, fuck Ruth Chris. I was just nasty ass fool. <laughs> and I've been kicked out of better places. You have one minute what? remaining. What do you say? You got a minute. You yeah, got one minute remaining. Okay. Hang on. All right. Okay. Well, I love y'all. Yeah. Hey, I love you too. Hey, get some rest, bro. And tomorrow, call me all day. We can three-way everybody. We can got there and have a chat line. Okay. <laughs> they be playing with this shit. This, this man's life is on the line. Ain't he making a joke of this shit. You let you, basically... If I get this correct, you are on the phone with your bestie slash brother while he is in jail and you are talking about how you were being an asshole in a restaurant that serves filet mignon, uh, 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 lobster tails, uh, sauteed shrimp, crabs, and you, you a fine dining establishment like Ruth Chris and you are telling this to a man who is over here eating mystery meat on a daily basis who can't even eat his food because it shit stinks. That's what you decided to complain about on the phone to your buddy. Yes. And now, now, now let's have a party line. Let's three-way everybody and let Everybody know you in jail, and we just gonna make light of this because hey, I ain't got shit better to do. I don't give a damn about what you're going through. Let's make it all a joke. Yes, yes. What you say, Shell? Now he knows he hasn't been to Ruth Chris. Yes, that's where they went yesterday, or you know, with this call. They went with um with uh Shirley and Deb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they went. And she embarrassed the hell out of Shirley. I know Shirley was embarrassed. He's going to put $100 on the phone. Call okay. him all day. Right, that's okay. what I'm saying. All of this. I'm with your wife. We eating good. Hey, I'm with your wife. We eating good. And this. I'm with your wife. We eating good. And my biggest issue is that they harassed me at a fine dining restaurant. But you, on the other hand, you looking at CP charges, financial crimes. They won't let you get a bond. You can't get out. But this is what I'm going to complain about when I talk to you while I got your wife. Yeah. And now me and your side hoe, we're going to call people tomorrow. We're going to do three ways. Yeah, we're going to make fun of this. We're going to have a whole um, uh, party line. That's what they're going to do. These ain't your friends. These are not friends, okay? Call me tomorrow. He's going to be in transition. He might not be able to because they're going to bring him to Fulton. And he goes, but they, they should have a phone right in the hotel. No, no. No? No. no ain't He's going to be in transition tomorrow because he may go to court tomorrow for the um for these new charges. Yeah. All right, well, that keep me up, bro. If you're calling and hang up, call back again and keep that them calling until you get somebody on my phone because my phone bill is paid. So call me. Thank you for using Global Telling. This next call was made immediately after the last. Lamont is still on the line and Dion also joins the conversation. Take a listen. <coughs> you got a call or something? I can't. Yeah. 
It sound like he got a cold. That's no, that's me cough. He got that's corona. Me. Oh. That's a wrong. He got corona. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I ain't got, I ain't got corona. I done, I done, I done took my shot. I had my shot record. Mm. So, 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 I, I, I think. I just got a question. So, did you ask him? Is is uh is it gonna be possible that they're gonna give me one tomorrow now for this new shit? You should get a bond. He said it with ease. You should get a bond for the new shit. Yeah, they, you'll go to court when as soon as they. You will get a bond for. They have. I just told you what to stress to your to your defender when they come in there and talk to you. Just keep just stressing them that you do not have any priors and we did not do this. Okay, my record does not reflect anything like this, and I am confused that I'm even charged so with this. And I don't want to let about this shit. Right. I am confused yeah. that I was even charged with this. I don't have a criminal record. Hold on. I am worthy. We have to be clear in our communication in this chat. Your sentence says they are so ghetto fabulous. That is not a correct sentence in any way or fashion. I would like for you to remove the word fabulous out of that sentence. By doing so, you can actually state an accurate statement, make an accurate assessment. They are also ghetto, period. That's all this should say. Nothing else after the word ghetto should appear, okay? Get it right next time or we'll have to... You know, I don't know, put you on notice at the club, okay? All right, thank you. And, and in the light of this period, my record does not reflect anything remotely close to this. It's all criminal, like financial crimes. That's all your crimes are robbery, all that shit is financial crimes. All your convictions are financial and whatever you talk about your convictions. But this right here, I don't know why I'm being charged with this. And I need a bond, and you need to. That's start. what I mean. I'm trying to be funny. Tina Jones said Lamont Spike, Shirley, and Debbie's drink had them sick and throwing up while he started arguments about his shoes. Look, I wondered, was he trying to get some? Is he trying to trying to do something with old old Nesto's wife and friend? Was he trying to get some some I don't know some cougar up? Well, I don't know how old Lamont is, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know what was he trying to do. Why do them girls just end up throwing up like that out the blue? That's weird. I'm sorry. If I'm drinking something I ain't never drank before and then adamant about getting me to drink it with this, now drink it with this, now drink it with this, I'm going to think something's in my motherfucking drink. Why are you so adamant about me drinking this damn rose water? Now, I'm not, again, I don't, I have no, nothing, pro, no problems with the rose water. It sounds like the rose water has benefits. I'm not talking about that. I am saying that there was something else going on here. I just, I just don't know. It seems odd, allegedly. Right. My record does not reflect this. This is crazy. And that's all crazy. you tell them. Because that's all they can base it on is, that's the only thing they can use against you is, is your record. Oh, okay. Well, actually, so they can use the, the, the evidence against him as well. So his record doesn't help. But um, they definitely can look at that damn evidence and say, yeah, I think he could have done it. I mean, fuck the past. This, this, and this might just tell me the whole story. But, you know, whatever. Record is not of this. So you stress and here's the other reason why I think uh, Shirley's been involved in this whole process because again, they would have to talk to her about that computer. They would, I mean, and and the car too. He and this computer were found in her car. I just believe they talked to this woman and at least asked her about that damn computer being in her car and those other items. I'm sorry. You need to talk to your to your public defender. I just you know they ain't, shit, they ain't shit in court. I just know that. Not all of them are bad. Not all of them are bad. Some are good. Look here, Shell. Don't you be judging, Shirley. Sometimes a good meal will make you feel better. You, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need that retail therapy and some of that food therapy, child, to make you feel better about life. Plus, her friends in town. Maybe the girlfriend treated. I don't know. 
But even if the girlfriend didn't treat, sometimes when you're going through a hard time and these niggas ain't right, you just got to go to Ruth Chris, child. Sometimes it make you feel better. <laughs> even if just for a little while, okay? Shoot. Uh, I'm good now. It depends on what I'm good. Yeah, you got some good ones, and you got some, it's like you got some paid ones that fucking suck, and you got some paid ones that are good. You know, right. it, it just depends on the person. Sometimes they like doing that because they, they're more like, I know some really good Yeah, attorneys. that's the other thing. Good point, um, just me. Uh, well, I mean, Lamont did send Sonya that cartoon pee, that cartoon corn, sure did. I mean, so obviously they like to pass that kind of stuff around to each other. And yeah, see, Lamont, he seemed a little reckless. He seemed super duper reckless. Um, let me see. Call me. Call me darling says, I think Sonya thought he was going to graduate to Erica King's position. Thought that Nesto was going to be like a mastermind or something. Is that what you're saying? Interesting. Lamont was exchanging those picks. Love Joy. He was straight up. I think too, it seems like he'd be testing the waters with Sonya. Like when we listened to that call yesterday when he was asking her where she at and he could come and get her and pick her up and all of this stuff. Um, because he needs she needed money for him and he was gonna cash up it. But wait a minute, where you at? Did he ever get that money to Sonya? I'm just wondering, did Sonya ever get that money? And and even if not, I feel like Lamont be wanting to meet up with people. He be wanting to meet up with Sonya. He be wanting to meet up with Shirley. Now Shirley and her friend. Um, He wants to take them out. He want to give them rides and shit. I think Lamont is that snake nigga. Maybe they have shared women in the past. Maybe that's it. Or maybe Lamont just wants to move in on whatever old boy had. Maybe Lamont was jealous of, of old Nesto. He probably looked at Nesto like, nigga, you ain't no better than me. You might dress better. You may even look a little better. You may be built better. But I can talk as well, if not better than you. How are you pulling these people? But Nesto has something. Now, look, I don't know what it is, but he's got some sort of charisma. He's got some sort of way with these women. Um, I don't ever need to meet him, okay? Because if meeting him means you lose your whole ever-loving mind, common sense, and everything that comes along with it, I don't want no parts of it. You hear me? Because I feel like having a conversation with this Negro will have you sh like questioning reality as a whole because he, he seems to have some effect on these women. But I think that Lamont has seen that. And Lamont has probably thought to himself, what is he doing? How did he get it? I could do it this way or I would be better at this. There's always some, someone around you thinking like that. And I think that's what's going on with Lamont. Because why is he always trying to hook up with this man's women? I don't get it. They want, they want to be, they're more helpful. And they want to help people that can't afford. So they do stuff like that. That doesn't mean they're bad. And you got a lot of them that's straight out of college. They go there. Or the ones that left the, so, I mean, they left the prosecutor's office because they saw how crazy and crooked they were. So they were like, I want to be a public defender. Because I'm not some railroad people and have innocent people in jail. So you got a lot of, it just depends. You got something, you just got to stress because the way they get the case flow, last minute, you have to stress your points to her. That's all you're going to do is stress your points. Child, shut up. Um, MZ757 says, nah, Nesto told Lamont how he was doing things with Sonya in that RV. Lamont trying to see what's up with that. I, I believe that too, but that's what I'm saying. That's one of his women. He wants a little taste. He wants some parts of it. I think Sonya lied about Lamont sending her pictures. She lied about Dion giving her money. She wants him to depend on her only. She lied about, um, um, Dion giving her money or not giving her money? Which one is it? But I, I don't know if Sonya lied about that picture situation. I, why? I mean, liars do lie for no good reason, but I don't think she 
made that up. I believe oh boy probably did do that. I just think it's kind of weird that she would say it out loud unless she was trying to incriminate him. She knows the calls are recorded. And I'm not even talking about recorded and released to us. They know the calls are recorded. Anything they say can and will be used against them. They know this. This is not my record. This is, I did not do this. This is, you know, I'm confused that I didn't even charge with this shit. You know, just mm -hmm. Excuse me, I hate to be yawning. Mm -mm -mm. But let's be clear about something. There are men in this world that are de sexual deviants that have never once been arrested. Do you know that? But they have victims, multiple victims, victims that they probably have violated more than one time. And this person walks through life not being arrested because of the embarrassment that may come with it or the fear of having done it. Because this person may have been threatening your life if you were to share, right? So I just think that um, for us to sit here and suggest that because someone doesn't have it on their record, that does not mean that the person is not guilty of the crime. We're talking about a certain type of crime. I agree that someone doesn't pop up in their 50s and become this type of freak. The truth is the person has likely been, not likely, the person has been a freak for a very long time, if not forever. But just because they weren't arrested for that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I'm just saying. That the criminal record mm. is dead. I yeah, did not do that. Yeah, this I can have a lot of things, but this one right here is a, it's a banger, buddy, for me. If, if, if you, can hang, you can handle this one too. Uh, you can handle this one too. Okay. He can, he can handle it. it. It's just hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. It is a hard pill to swallow. But yeah, we're going to swallow yes, it hard. Is. Real. Yeah. Very hard. It's, it's very hard sitting in on well, six months sitting in there on top of all the other shit and all the other things that's going on. And then you got to look at everything. But he's going to get past this because on the other side, tomorrow it's going to be all good news. Okay. That's right. It's it's all all good news. Okay. For so the last six months, it's been a, some, a bunch of shit. And so tomorrow it's going to be good news. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going to okay. be good news for them. And this we're gonna look back mm -hmm. a year from now and you're gonna be like, Man, that was some shit. But I got you. are gonna be like, Man, I have some damn good people in my corner. Hold on. But He's gonna when is he gonna look at this and say that? This is January twelfth of twenty twenty three. When is he gonna say this again? Let's go back. I wanna hear that again. I have to hear that again. It is a hard pill to swallow. But yes, really swallow yes, it hard is. Yeah. Very hard. It's, it's very hard sitting in, on six months sitting in there on top of all the other shit and all the other things that's going yes. on. And then you got to look at everything. But he's going to get past this because on the other side, tomorrow it's going to be all good news. All good news. Okay. That's right. It's it's all, all good news. Okay. Okay. For the last six months, it's been a, some, a bunch yes. of shit. And so tomorrow is going to be good All news. good news. Okay. It's going to okay. be good news. Tomorrow. Good news. And this we're going to look back mm -hmm. a year from man. now, and you're going to be like, man, that was some that shit. Was but I got you're going to be like, man, I have some damn good people in my corner. Yes. So he's going to look back at this a year from now, and he's going to say, man, that was some shit. And I had some damn good people in my corner. Did he do that? He may have done all of that, but one thing he didn't do, he didn't say he was free. Okay? He didn't say that a year later because I'm looking. And right now, I believe today is April 10th, 2024. And a year and three months have passed. And this mother sucker is sitting right there with you talking shit as usual. Because you're no good lawyer trying to figure out why he got all these good people in his corner. Mm -hmm. That's true. Why would the attorney give a damn? 
Y'all act like this attorney is jealous of Nesto. Like, why do you keep bringing this up? This is stupid. That, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. You, you, you got a point. You got a bad point. This I is just true. told you, you good, bro. Your yeah. niggas in there ain't got nobody in calling on a regular basis. Right. You good. You got a team. They ain't got nobody to pick up the phone when they call. Shit. Exactly. <sighs> My partner told me the other day, he been trying to get in contact with his girlfriend the last six months, and she won't even answer the call. I said, well, damn. Yeah, they ain't doing that. It's over with. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, sometimes that's, that's enough. That's enough to make me break up with you, nigga. I'm serious. If you out here doing some F shit, and you get caught up, and you in jail, what would... Because I don't mess with people doing that shit, okay? So if that's what you was doing and you kept that from me, ain't no telling what else you done kept from me. Because that's the only way you could have been indulging in it and not be in your life. So if you're in my life and you're indulging in the other life and, and you get locked up, I don't need you. Because you've been lying. Something ain't right here. Okay, now you better have been protesting somewhere. Um, you better have been um, doing a sit-in somewhere. Um, maybe a Karen was effing with you. That's something different. These are different situations, okay? But if you out here effing around in the criminal world and you get locked up, nigga, bye. See you. He need to stop calling her after the first month. He should stop calling her. <laughs> I've been like, yeah. yeah I'm thinking the month of niggas after the first week. Right. And after the first month, out of them. like, come on now. What's the cutoff? Damn, you 60. You already did years in the pen. What are we doing? Are we serious right now? This was choosing when, when your wife is Shirley Strawberry. When your wife is making half a million a year, y'all can't figure out a way to make that work. Figure out a way so that y'all are not getting evicted. Just something outside of the criminal world. Surely, surely it's been done. Surely people are living off of $400,000 a year. Seriously, I bet you, I bet you there are a few people. In fact, I bet you there are people who live off of less, sir, uh yeah, I'm sure that there are people who live. Let me think. Do I know any? Hell yeah, me. You can live off a of less, sir, and not involve yourself in the criminal world, sir. It it can be done. I promise you. Now the fact that y'all couldn't manage it and figure it out for yourselves, it baffles the hell out of me, especially at the age of sixty. It really does. Sixty and seventy. Why are you bullshitting? Because he ain't alone in this bullshit. All right, Shirley. Over there, 70 years old, and this is what the fuck she got to deal with? No, I, I will not. I won't. I'm like, yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, weren't, that, we weren't that solid. <laughs> we weren't that solid. She now moved to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, 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 yeah. moved to the next one, boy. They got them wishy washy, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. You got to you got hey, boy. You got to just. Hey, I'm saying, I'm That's right, Maryland girl. I don't know what to stay in line. They be all out of pocket. I know you no, do. I, I know you do. I know you do. Yeah, I know you I don't do. know what's wrong with them. I get confused too sometimes. I be thinking to myself, these guys be stupid. Isn't it? Well, like, it can't be that damn hard. I'm telling you, I just dropped all lady out at the airport. She wants to start an argument in the car with me. What are you so dressed up for? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put on some motherfucking clothes. When I got to sit around with white t shirts on all the goddamn time. Oh, Where is you going? Clearly, I'm not going with you. You going one way and I'm going the other way. That's why I'm dropping you off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm mm. trying to tell you. What do you up to, man? I ain't talking to him today, man, but I, I, I ain't talking to him today. And then he should just call him. I call him, but he ain't else. Yeah. You mad at me? You ain't mad at me? I ain't did nothing to him. No, that ain't it. What y'all done did to me now? Who? What y'all done did to me now? What y'all done did to me now? What y'all done did to me now? What y'all done did to the baby? 
That's why I was a blow. Yeah, what I? Dude, this a blow. This a blow right here. Yeah, all of it is a blow. Yeah. Basically. This is yeah. just a lot of fucking blow. No, this is a crack, crack baby blow here to me, though. Just right Say hi to Dion. Huh? Say hi to Dion. Dion! How you doing? Hello. How you doing? I tried to call you. They didn't even tell her to call him. They over here talking shit about him. They could have said something else before she put him. They, she didn't even let them know he was coming. Anywho. Hello. That's your uncle and your father. She got played. I had your dog, I had your coach. I had your dog, Yeah. Hey, you How you doing? <laughs> yes, sir. That's how I feel the same way. Head blowing off right now. Blowing off. Shit is wild. What do you say? She's wild. Shit is wild, bro. A lot of the world is wild. <laughs> Word of the wild, man. Rosie said, I told you she's the ops. <laughs> she's just doing reckless shit. I'm telling you, she is trying to set this dude up every time we turn around. Oh my God. Yeah, so he's on my hold of fold. I got to keep holding. Can't fold. I can hold it. You already know. Keep it in the road. Yeah. You got to hold it. That's it. If you like that, you got to hold it. You good? Got to hold it. Yeah, got to hold it. Got to hold it. I'll see what's going on tomorrow, man. We're going to let you know what's happening. That's what it is. It was a blow to me for it. Blow, it was a real blow. That was a blow ticket right there. Mm. Yep. But that's okay. I don't I bounce back day that quick. Yep. That's how it is when everybody's looking at you. Now I see how the politicians feel now. Mm -hmm. See how they feel. The politician? But that's it. Crazy. Hold on. He know how who feel? It is wild, bro. A lot of the world is wild. The world is wild, man. That's what it is, though. So. Either I'm a hold or fold. I got to keep holding. Can't fold. I got to hold it. You already know. Keep it in the road. Yeah. You got to hold it. That's it. If you like that, you got to hold it. You good? Got to hold it. Yeah, got to hold it. Got to hold it. No, Dion did not call her. They were literally talking about Dion and asked about what's going on with him. And she called him on purpose. He didn't just happen to call. She would have said that. He's calling me right now. Mm -mm, no, that ain't what happened. Her ass knows what happened. I see what's going on tomorrow, man. We're gonna let you know what's happening. That's what it is. It was a blow to me for it. Blow for, it was a real blow. That was a blow ticket right there. Yep. But that's okay. I don't I don't bounce back day that quick. Yep. That's how it is when everybody when everybody's looking at you. Now I see how the politicians feel now. Mm -hmm. so, see how they feel. But that's it. Crazy. Huh? It should be crazy, man. Man. What? I told my fucking dad, I said, y'all don't want no real money out here, man. That shit called more problems. <laughs> Way more problems. Some shit you ain't never got to understand. At all. She's crazy, I ain't going to do that shit. Yes. Everybody got way more problems someday. What'd you say? Everybody got way more problems someday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to y'all. I'm going to wake up in the morning. Y'all don't worry. I'm going to wake up. Yeah. Got to get tired, then. Ah! It's just, yeah. just another obstacle. Yeah, this is an obstacle. Huh? This should be crazy, man. Man. I told my fucking dad, I said, y'all don't want no real money out here, man. That shit called more problems. Way more problems. Some shit you ain't never got to understand. At all. Too crazy, I ain't gonna do that shit. Yes. Yeah. Have money to bring those five dollars someday. What'd you say? Have money to bring those five dollars someday. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna holler at y'all. I'm gonna wake up in the morning. Y'all don't worry, I'm gonna wake up. 
Who says that the blue? I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna wake up in the morning. Is that your way of saying that you have thoughts? Is that what you're saying, Nesto? That you have thoughts? I always think it's interesting when these people who have thoughts have these thoughts when things get tough for them. But don't think of those thoughts when right before they decide to harm somebody else. So if you're having those thoughts, I think those thoughts are a little too late, in my opinion. If you're going to have those thoughts, you should have had them before you tried to harm S.A., great, whatever the hell you did to all these women uh, and steal the money and rape people financially as well. OK, if only you had had those thoughts before that happened, maybe we all wouldn't be here right now and I'd be looking for other content. Yeah. Got to get by this. It's just, yeah. just another obstacle. Yeah, this is just an obstacle, bro. No, hey, it ain't the end of the road. I know it's difficult to see that, but it ain't the end of the road, bro. You got way more shit going on. You you good to go. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I, I, my, my mind is on, that shit, is, is, you're right. But when you get a when you get a tag like that, bro, that's not that's not a good tag. In business or anything, with me, that's just me, cause that's just me. How I think. Some people don't give a fuck, but I do. Mhm. Mm yeah. You don't have to talk about that. I don't give a fuck about shit like that. That's my shit just as bad. I don't give a fuck about. No, I ain't talking about. No, no, he's saying. No, he's saying he does. He's saying he does. It's not a good look to even have that charge. Yeah. Let's say, um, CCB says, Sonya is messy. Dion seems like he's struggling with the charges. This is a private conversation him and his father should have had on their own time. I agree. I, I do agree, too, that it sounds like Dion is trying to justify this shit in his head. I think sometimes people are aware of, like, I don't believe that Dion is fully aware of everything that Nesto does or has done. And I said that before. I don't think any one person on the planet knows everything that this dude has been involved in. But I think Dion, because of him being in proximity to, to his dad, um, seemed to be closer than his other children, was in the business on some level. He probably participated in certain things and saw certain things go down that were inappropriate. And he may have felt a way or he may have questioned, but didn't think it was that deep until all this starts coming out. And you're, he probably is thinking to himself, oh my God, I saw this, I saw that. Is it true? Because I think he has a lot of compassion for Shirley. Um, does he always handle himself properly with his father? I don't think so because I, I hate that he had that call with Shirley and his dad was on the line. But I think that on some level, it tells me something about his character on some level. Dion doesn't seem like he's a bad person. He's a, he's a son. He's loyal to his dad to some degree. I mean, I think he's pretty loyal to his dad. But I also think he's on to his dad's bullshit. He understand his dad be on some bullshit and he's kind of seen little glimpse, you know, a glimpse here and there of the bullshit. And this is bringing it all back, you know, full circle where he's like, okay, that's this. That was that. I can't believe my dad was doing that. He knows all this shit ain't a lie. He's trying to justify, but he still loves his father. So he's trying to make sense of it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, not, not for business or anything for real like that, trying to move around. That's just not no good look. Not to me. Some people don't. I really give a fuck, but I, I got I got my own uh, morals, how I think. So, but did it come out of light? I have to just be patient again, I guess. I guess I, my shit like a movie. That's what it feel like. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. But anyway... All right, y'all. Huh? All right, love you too. I'll holler. All right. Where you going? I can't hear the shit, man. <laughs> yeah, so don't hang up yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm Talk okay. Talk to the operator. Come on. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. Well, I really ain't got nothing else to say. Wait till tomorrow. You know, wait no buddy say you're going to have me ready tomorrow. And now this shit came up, so we're going to see. 
I'm just going to chill out for a minute and see who's going to have them. So I'm like, let me get back to. I want to make yeah. sure. Did I? I don't think I read all of these, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, CCB. I think. Did we talk about? Wait, wait before that. Life insurance. Okay. CCB said Nesto was Nesto was all over the news. Okay. Yeah, we talked about this. Uh, Shelly C said Nesto knows. Surely don't know him. <laughs> Attorney told what? Oh, told her the truth. Yeah, I believe that too. I believe she learned a lot from that damn attorney. Yes. Oh, with that said, thank you so much, Shelly C, for the super chat. Uh, CCB says, Shirley was refusing to talk to the detectives for a while. Okay, we did talk about this. And I hope um, she heard CP. I hope she heard CP. She at least made sure it wasn't images of her granddaughter. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, Daniel, thank you for the um, super chat, CCB, again. Uh, Daniel McGee, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you. You guys forgive me if I looked away and I didn't catch those right away. You know, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get back to it. Yeah, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Yeah, you need to look up to the thoughts, man. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, you say your, your mind, that shit, that shit powerful as hell. You can mm -hmm. pass this shit up, you can pass some bad shit up. You but, can. Yeah. yeah, you can. You're right. You, you sure right about that. You sure right yeah. about that. There's it's, it's a lot of wild shit going on out here for years, so, you know, hey, ain't nothing that you face, they got John John, but it's gonna take your ass out of here. And then you can say, what now? And then the two faces are going to take you out of here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't stress no. it. No, Don't no. stress it. The stress in the have you sit. Don't stress it. Oh, I, I got you. Okay. I'm going to tell you how good that nigga is. Uh, yeah, nigga took his car to get the power fans and the oil fans, whichever one it was, right? The nigga did not know the person that drove his car was for the first thing he shot the manager. Yeah, I can't. Damn. Right damn yeah. What, what happened though? He thought the guy was trying to steal his car and he shot and killed him. And the guy was an employee for the tire shop. Now he's sitting in jail with a murder rap. Damn. Boy, a little fucking right I'm not shooting nobody over a car. You can have it. Okay. It's just when you go over the full thing. So they set Fulton on fire today. Two inmates set um, one part of, of the jail on fire today. We have exactly what, what to fuck? do. Mm hmm Two inmates. Man, this shit going down over there. Mm hmm This is bright as shit. Wow. So that means I'm going to get out of this shit going crazy right now. <laughs> yep. It's no. crazy out here. What do you say? It's crazy. Oh, this shit going crazy So right here's now. the thing. So funny you say this, Miss ATL and Stan. I wonder if he doesn't have some money hidden, too. And I know he's talked a lot about this land or trust or house. I feel like on some level, somebody who is um, a career criminal, who does a lot of switching, you know, bait and switch kind of shit all the time, that you would think on some level they might have some sort of contingency plan. And maybe some of that talk about trusts and land and this and that, maybe it's cold word for the money I told you about and where it's hidden and this is the time for us to retrieve it. We might be get, I might be giving this man too much credit, but I think it's possible. It's possible. I don't know. You might be in the safe jail right now. I am. I am. I am. I'm grateful for that right now. I am grateful for that right now. I am grateful. Yeah, you're right. It's just, yeah. Yeah, I just got out of that fucking war zone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to get on that shit all that way. You were there and coming out on crap. It's not playing over there. No, no, they're not. It's, they, they, they're trying to crank up the over there, over here. But, uh, uh, they're, they're cranking up anyway. Still, it's still in jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the next chair nigga got over there on that fuck shit over there. Shit. People that they, they have to go on, people that work there too now. It ain't just no 
I know it. I know. That's right. That's right. That's true now. That's true. Man. Oh, shit. Wow. Damn. Yeah, Louisiana, and all that, man. So do. So do. So do. That's what I feel like now. I feel like I done got lost in the motherfucking system. <laughs> Not gonna lie. To no, you. they know exactly what you're talking about. So you ain't getting lost. So it's different when you got nobody out here fighting for you. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I'm just used to that professional shit. I'm not used to that junkie, but that junkie shit. Boy, I tell this shit right here, man. You got Wait, so um, no big headed. Wait, oh, moved. No big headed assholes. Okay, um, said that he told Dion he was glad that he benefited from his businesses or something to that effect. Hmm. Wait, Miss Walker said Nesto is not smart enough to save or put money away. He probably spent every dime he or she. Mer- I, now, I, I'll be honest, that was my first thought, but I just wonder with the fact that he kept saying, I'm glad I did what I did, talking about some property, only for Nyla to be able to go look up the property. And I don't know if Bougie did too, but I know Nyla did and showed us the property. It was like, this property ain't worth no damn $400,000 or whatever. Maybe there's some other money. Now, I'm not saying it's a huge amount. I don't think it's a huge amount, but I can't imagine he wouldn't have like a, safe stash because he's so criminally minded i mean even if it was like for the skate purposes i don't know mm-hmm. oh just me say i am yeah, you got a professional motherfucker that can all right a thousand of you as a baby so you okay yeah got what again that's, that's the whole point of building us being around smart people ain't so they can make sure they got a family because the one they go fight for you right And let me stop okay. this again. And you know what, Marilyn girl, I thought about that too. I remember says, I believe in the late 2023 calls, Lamont seemed to be reassuring Nesto about the bond, kept telling him that he would be good and is good. So here's the thing. When you think about a bunch of thieves, because I had thought about this earlier. It's like, they, don't, they ain't got no money. You mean, if they had the money, would he even be in this position? But I think now that they know the bond, I think it, when Lamont says, I'll get you out or we got it, I feel like that doesn't necessarily mean he has it in his pocket or that he has it in a bank account. I think he's saying, Okay, that's the amount. Okay, so now we just got to find a mark, an opportunity, a victim for us to steal it from so we can get what he needs and get him out. I just need a figure. I just need to know what it what, what we're working with. Maybe that's how thieves work. I don't know. Allegedly. I'm not saying, I don't know if this man is a thief too. Okay, we do know uh, Nesto is a thief, allegedly, but we don't know if Lamont is still or was. I know he pretends to be attorneys and shit. Now, I don't know how he thought he was going to get past that because this Negro couldn't have fooled me at all. If I if I met him, came into his office and he was talking like that, ain't no way in hell I would even, mm-mm, he's weird. So again, I think it's possible that there could be funds that we're not aware of. Yes, but I also think that from a Lamont standpoint, it's not like he's got a million dollars or he's got a hundred thousand or whatever it is. I think he's like, that's the amount. Okay, I just need to know the amount so I know which bank to rob kind of thing. <laughs> okay, allegedly. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Nobody physically, you ain't got down. Well, nobody physically, you ain't got down. Do none of that crazy ass shit, man. You gonna be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When a fire arms get involved. When who?
Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, when them guns come out, it changed the whole scenario. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I have definitely seen a lot of. I can't tell. That's how the fuck I've been treated. That's how I've been treated now. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you some real shit, man. Dad been treated the same way for the motherfucker. Don't want to let you out. Nah. Right. Okay, cool. Motherfucker can look here from out of the day and be out next week. That's right. I've seen that shit, bro. But my own fucking eyes. Thing too, man. going on history. They treat that shit like credit. It's the same thing. All this shit. The whole, they, you know, everybody's life is a different off of credit and face. That's all this shit is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so they, they're like, okay, well, we ain't caught him doing nothing in this side of this side, but his old record say, bitch, you too old and I had that shit of fun. Oh, okay, that girl said they still have to show where the money comes from. But do you think, you don't think that they know that? Like, I feel like if, if let's say what you, I mean, look, I'm, I'm just out here speculating. I literally am. I have no proof of this. This is fun shit, okay? I'm just dreaming, you know, why not? I don't know these people. But let's just say they were smart enough to um, to come up with a plan like, oh, you get in jail, you got a bond. Okay, we'll get, I'll figure out how to get it out. I'm guessing they've done it before. I don't believe, I, I believe that if this is true, if that's something that they do, this, this wouldn't be the first time they've done it. And if it's not the first time they've done it, we do know that they've all been arrested before. We do know that they know how the system works. And it's very, very possible that because they know how the system works, they know what checks and balances to cover. Even if that means get the cash and get somebody else to represent having the cash. They might know some rich people for real too, y'all. You do know that, right? If they doing grimy shit, a lot of rich people are involved in that grimy shit. And so they might have a rich person that will stand up. They may not want to put their money down, but if you're going to bring them the cash, all right, I'll get him out. What I care, because this is just money that's going in the wind anyway. If he needs $130,000 to get out at a minimum with a surety bond, it doesn't matter whether he comes back to court or not. That money is gone. So anybody who puts up that money, they can't miss that money. So that's why I said, if Lamont's over here saying, I just need to know a bond, it sounds to me like he plans to do something to get that number because I don't know anyone who wants to throw away 130 or 140 or 100,000 or even $50,000. I don't know anybody who would do that. Yeah, we got to tie this shit up. Yeah, 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 that's true now, that's true, but damn. They're like, they say, oh, shit, but my is Y Z. you and the person that you are, you have never listened to what someone has said about somebody, you put that shit so far in the back of your damn mind because you ain't them and they ain't you, you don't lie to person yourself, it's just ain't the same shit out here, though, when they find out to do a court system, they ain't trying to learn you that stuff. Right. Yeah, so they're going off your history. Right. That's right. That, that's that's right. That's what I've been seeing too. I've been seeing a lot of that, and that's true. That's what I've been the insurance company doing that now too, though. They're going off history. Have you had an insurance policy in the last, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what your credit is going to look like? Everybody's going off history now. You know what I say? It's best to clear your shit up, like explain it. And all that shit, man. Put the shit behind the history of everything now. Yeah. A <laughs> person that just tells you so much about hanging around people to be locked up about another person is crazy. Damn. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? I said, for a person that always tells me not to hang around people, I don't hang around nobody for you to get jammed up. Oh, also, I mean, a trade, a trade. Boy, I just, that used to be my whole ski low for you. Now I'm in the, I'm in the, for the same shit I told you not to do. That's <laughs> crazy. Damn. I can't let nobody around. I can't breathe. Not supposed to. Yeah. 
Yeah. How else they gonna get it? I don't know. They gonna rob the bank. They gonna rob the drug man. They gonna rob the bingo hall. What they they gonna rob something with cash, child? Just saying. It's a wild, wild west right now. But I get you. I understand. Well, yeah, yeah. You, you're right. Yeah, y'all right. Yeah, yeah. Y'all right. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I, I know that, I know, I know, yeah, it is the year from now I'll be out, I, I know that, but I know I'll be getting out. Yeah, you, you, know you, huh? you know you getting out, baby, you know it. You getting out? Okay. You know, you know, you ain't going to be able to hang around bad people and all that. It's the same this recording but um uh that girl repping um bk new york brooklyn new york said wasn't nesto locked up before for bank robbery yes and that's why i'm saying and what's La what's in lamont's background i have no idea but i'm telling you these people that's why it's like oh that's how much it is okay bet i just need to know a dollar amount child they they know how to, i'm just saying Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, my brain is hurting like a motherfucker. When when they shit tell me that shit, mine hurt too. Shit, my brain. Man. I'm gonna get this goodie powder tonight. Hey man, I, I said to myself, man, I, I'm just cold. Set the fuck up, man. It's different. But you told me that goddamn five months ago. Man, they got you. They trying, they trying to really fuck you around, bro. You told me that. Who I, he, he, I that, You know, it's amazing, Erica, how much he giggles. Even the nervous giggles, they make me uncomfortable. Ain't no way in hell somebody should be this happy in jail. I'm serious. Whether they're guilty or not guilty, what is there to giggle about? I am locked up. I'm trying to get out. And God forbid I'd be on the phone, and even if you cracked the joke, that shit wouldn't be funny to me. I thought they would have, to, I don't think they could tickle me. And I, I, nothing would be able to make me laugh, honey. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm it. They're trying, they're trying to get the You have one minute remaining. Okay, I love y'all. Hopefully, All right, I'm going to break it. Keep it up. All right. Thank you, Miss. I love you. Thanks, Pastor. Right. Love you, too. <laughs> Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Thank you for. I don't know, y'all. I'm over it. I can't. I mean, these people are totally a mess. Um, I'm so unimpressed with them. Um, listening to him try to sweet talk Shirley and then turn around and talk shit like he loves Sonya. It's all, it's annoying as hell. It's weird. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, anyway, I've been out here. We've kicked it for the good three hours. I will come back tomorrow. 
Um, I will, I still want to go back through my Sonya interview. I even started watching it yesterday thinking, yeah, I got some things I want to say about this. I want to go back through it because almost everything she said, I know something different now. I know something different. And that's annoying as hell. Anyway, y'all look, um, if you have show ideas for me, baby, please send them my way. You can um, uh, email me or you can hit me up via DM on uh, IG. And um, my contact information is right here. want to thank everybody who came in here and gave me a whole click in the view. Everybody who hit that like button, even if you didn't hit it before, if you wouldn't mind hitting it now, I would be so blessed by it. I want to thank everybody who sent a cash app or super chat or a super sticker. Most specifically, none your business. Call Michelle. April B, ready for the T, sister to sister, C.A. Williams, I am worthy, C.C.B., Shelly C., and Danielle McGee. What? What y'all playing that? Did y'all play to come in here so I can ride? Y'all be killing me with that. Y'all, y'all know how I get when y'all be rhyming for me. And wigs and wine. Thank you, wigs and wine, for the super chat. Let me just make sure. I don't want to miss anybody else. I want to thank you all. I want to thank my moderator, Michelle Loves, for being here to moderate. She did good, honey, for three hours all by her lonesome child. But this is, I love this crowd. I love the energy you all give. Thank you so much for giving me your time. I promise I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, we're going to figure out, I got to get caught up. I'm telling you, I, I definitely want to do that review of that interview I did with Sonia. And we're going to have to do that. You know, that's going to take a minute, okay? Because that was two and a half hours I talked to that lady, okay? Now, we might have to put it on fast forward or something with the timing, but I want to go through that mug. And even if we don't finish it in one sitting, we're going to come back and finish it later because I want to really strip down all the damn lies. Damn it, I didn't appreciate it. So with that said, I love you all, beautiful people. Thank you again for supporting me, and I will see you next time. Muchas. <laughs>